Welcome back, everyone. There's some more about Play 2 Bannerlord. Hello, James. Time's just for you, man. Just for you, always. We're going to be continuing where we left off. I uh, saved up our game after yes, last stream's crash. We'll see where... I think we're sitting near Macab or Balticon, somewhere in there. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, family member needing some attention. Excellent. So welcome, welcome all. We're back at it. The uh, recap, a short recap is we've uh, been focusing quite aggressively on uh, clan tier growth, and we are actually 18 away. 18 clan tier points away. So uh, I believe we get nine per tournament. So we should start out with a couple tournaments. We got one here. I don't think it tells us any f any further way than within sight of the walls. Uh, let's start with Alda and his teaching. 16 years old. Uh, her teaching, sorry. The uh, the eldest. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> we were focusing on getting Alda as an engineer. Um, if we go there for apprentice, that sounds good. Putting fifth, uh, fourth point in engineering. Uh, assisting the smiths. That is the wrong one. Medicine. Here we go. Uh, learn to construct siege engines, and that gets 32 points in engineering. Way better than her big brothers. And uh, five focus points already in that area. That would be amazing. And then she gets a bonus skill in smithing. Now, smithing we're not using, so I'm going to go right back here. I'm going to do it again. Go apprentice. I think this works. Siege engineer. And nope, it is engineering. Okay, so I think that might be related. Let's try one more time. I'm curious because I think that might be related to... Um, to the first choice you make. So if you go with an aid, the outcome of the final one is different, and the choices to be made in the second set are different as well. So we'll do apprentice, because we want to get that engineering. If we end up having an, uh, a smithing point, that really doesn't matter that much. Oh, see, assisting the smiths is the gives her that now. Uh, oh, constructing engineer, engines, there we go. And then the smithing point, yeah, okay. So maybe it is attached to the first one, but that's okay. Five points focused into that. She's going to be great in a couple of years when she's ready to go. Engineering now 32, and smithing six. There we go. James, hello everyone. Uh, I was just watching chapter one since I was traveling for solar stuff yesterday. Ah! D did you get to get a good clear view? And did you put your... I guess you put your glasses on because you can read your screen. <laughs> so, we got a tournament. Let's go ahead and start out with the tournament. We got two more. Banner of Amir's what? Banner of Amir's Hawk. Ranged accuracy penalty. Twice reduced by six. Wow. Pretty awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to uh, win wow. ourselves a tournament, shall we? Nice. Aha, getting some damage done. Nope, missed that one. Nope, missed that one. Got one of them down, though. Lots of damage to start out with today. Feeling good on this one. There we go. Ah. 
Brother, my brother. Excellent. How was your eclipse experience other than the excessive travel time? How far away was it for you to get to the full occlusion zone? Oh, he's got like six or eight points of health left, I think, between the two hits. That was more than six or eight points. Yeah, I gotta get me one of these, man. Gotta get me one. It's almost worth learning smithing for. Maybe I'll do that between streams sometime. Oh, man. Oh, good whiffs everywhere. Well, he blocked it, but blocking me gave him gave the brother the opening. 70 points of damage. Ow, I blocked one for you, brother. I took a shot for you. There we go. Now I gotta, oh. Oh, that wasn't my brother. <laughs> I think I knocked my brother out the first. No, he was that last match. No, what? Why did... Oh, I... That was him I fought solo there. Right, 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 right. My bad. That first one is a bit dicey. That was not dicey. That was... Was that a headshot? Oh, to the shoulder. There we go. Four hours travel, James. Well done, sir. So, two hours from home? The weather was almost perfect. The entire event was a cloud here and there. During the total eclipse was perfect. Oh, man, that's awesome. I only, I'm Central Canada. We only got to watch it vicariously through video. Yeah, see, there's some renown. I love this banner we just got, man. Nice. So, uh, trying to remember the troop makeup, we got, uh, Makea is our, um, knight captain, our lancer captain, and Loan is our healer slash archer captain. She's currently sitting with decreased range accuracy, accuracy penalty of four. This one has a six, so it doesn't have double. It showed double, but it does not have double. Okay, that's fine. And we'll just, uh, well, you know what? We'll keep the other one around in case we get another archer type that, uh, ends up being... Uh, work in there for us. That's fine. Uh, we do have our big black heart that we got near the end of last stream. Big old two-handed axe. I'm still looking around. Uh, I'm actually here for the brows. Looking for glaives. We did find one glaive out in, I think it was Ostagard, but it was like 20,000 bucks for it, and it wasn't even a good one. <laughs> so they're really pricey. We can make them, though. If we look into the smithing, which we've never done, uh, in, I haven't done that any time since the previous things, except for, like, I guess we've done, we did some in our series that's starting up this uh, week uh, with the War Maids on the daily YouTube series, which, uh, FYI, be the first to know, I started posting uh, two, uh, well, some of the clan folk is going back on. There's four more episodes coming up for clan folk this next four days. And in conjunction with that, the beginning of the Vintage Story series uh, is is beginning this week as well. All starting, both starting tomorrow at uh, 6 a.m. for the clan folk and noon for Vintage Story. And then we'll have a, uh, um, is Vintage Story noon or is it? Anyways. Wow. Four hours each way. All right. That's a bit of a drive. Um, but the um, new series, which is going to be the War Maids, as per Quirky's request, we are uh, we do a bit of dabbling with uh, just refining for the quests at different times, and it is incredibly time-consuming. But there is the ability in this vanilla version to craft high-end glaive blades if I can look, where are they? They're down the way here. Oh, no, it'd be under pole arms, right? How do I do that? One hand, no, I, uh, pole arms, pikes. Uh, 
Why is it pike? Let's do two-handed pull arms. There we go. Two-handed pull arms. We go down to the bottom and we've got the long glaive head. So this thing crafted would be weapon reach 168. Not spectacular for a glaive, but uh How about the razor? 177. But the glaive is a two-handed um Weird, it's a one and two handed option. Uh, the two handed glaive is 164 reach if we switch it up to a proper longer hole, we can get a ridiculous length on it, 250. Right? Just just absurd amount of uh, length and whatnot. And then uh, the damage done, the cutting damage of 163. That's just the base crap version of this. It's just nuts. And uh, in comparison, the weapon we have is uh, swing damage is absurd. It basically one shots almost everybody at 123 cut and only half the length of the other one. So it's longer, notably longer than our lance. And it's notably more damaging than two handed, a swung two handed axe. It's obscenely powerful weapons. So uh, something like that would be fantastic. But we're going to head back over this way and see if we can check that pricing again on our way back out. Uh, we are, um, you can see our scorpion is a green right now in a green background because we are being paid a mercenary contract by the Batanians. Yeah, there is another uh, tournament here. Monchog just over there. Hey, Monchog, hold on a second. Monchog, I gotta talk to you, bro. I'm back here, bro. Come here. Uh, we have the quest for, oh, don't get, don't start sieging. There you go. He's chasing a, a looter down. Really? Now he's chasing a Jawal. There we go. Uh, I want to Yours speak to you to I know. Uh, about Pandraic's Folly. Yay, there we go. That's nine, I think, if I remember correctly. Where's our... Yeah, that's nine of the ten. So we have one more to get, and then we continue that quest. Polar skill now 100. Uh, we can do footwork, or we can do hard knock. Uh, footwork. Combat movement speed with pole arms. And uh, captain movement speed of infantry formations uh 20 percent chance of knocking an enemy down with a heavy hit 25 percent, and party leader plus three hit points to infantry in your party oh gosh yeah we're doing the hit points uh the other one the pole arm this is all like really focused on uh pole arm use on foot and it's not something we frequently do so let's go back and do that tournament in macab and hopefully that'll put us up to the next tier Lovely, lovely. Uh, the forest people, something or other, what? The forest people contracted fight alongside the Batanians. Yay. He must have found his forest people friend nearby. All right, we have uh, loot or not to dump. Nope. And where are we at? Oh, we got some clay that's worth selling. Okay. And some olives. Here we can unload some of the olives. Somewhere in there. Uh, and what I'm actually here for is the tournament, so let's go and try to complete straight saber. Nice. Complete this last tournament to get the next... We always end up with our brother in the beginning. Okay, we'll knock him out first if we can. The yellow. Yellow is our first target. You're blue. Whoa! Unpleasant, dude. Unpleasant. Don't be such a jerk. Deepers! He's good. Oh my god, he was right there. <laughs> this is not going to work well. He's totally going to win that. Oh! Alright. I expect... Oh, it was that was a named dude as well. I expected uh, the brother to win that against a regular troop, but that wasn't a regular trooper. All right, next is pretty much a uh, free-for-all. Bash our way through to the win if we can. Nice. Well, not great. Nice, excellent. Give me that shield, please. Oh, 
Can you can you not like block me from fighting with you? Supposed to be letting me help you, man? No, <laughs> went to kick him. This blade is too short. <laughs> Get closer. Out. Oh, I was look. I looked up at the uh, who's still alive list. Oh, team fight for the win. Yeah. If they would stick together, they used to allow you to use uh, commands. Like they used to allow you to do movement commands. Uh, you know, tell your tell your colleague to join you. you know, follow me and all that. They used to be able to do that in battles, and it was so OP. There we go. That was the horse. Sorry, horsey. Ooh. That's got a hook. Let's get this clan tier win here. Oh, this is the dude that fought and uh, knocked out the brother at the end last time. Just a pin cushion. Nice. Ah, there we go. The Bumblebird clan has reached tier three. Excellent. So that's going to boost our army count. Wait. Did not boost our army count? Wait, what? Why does that not boost my troop count? There it is. Okay, just hadn't updated. 129 troop limit now. Wonderful. Uh, the big issue lately has been the cash flow, and we have to. We're at the point where we've got this big group that has to stay. Uh, oh, hold on, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to upgrade those. I want to upgrade this, but not the other guys. Uh, our group has to stay being paid for by mercenaries. Like we have to function as a mercenary to get the cash flow we need. Uh, let's head over to Oakenguard again. Uh, now let's look at our actually troop com compromise or compromise composition here. Uh, to have, where's our parties? There we go. This shows it nicely. 22 archers. Uh, 22 horse archers. I'm okay with that, but we'll probably bring a few more on. I think maybe we bring another 10 horse archers on, so we can get up around the 25 plus range by the time we get to the high levels. Uh, the cavalry seems okay for now. We do need to upgrade those squires. And our archers, I want uh, in the 30... Five range to 40 range and then we'll have just a spattering of leftover infantry for the next group um, let's go see if Orton guard here has a uh, has what we need I don't want a tournament right now I'm done with you tournaments you're not my priority today one to zero nice two zero now <laughs> that's two of them we just did uh down here, there was a glaive. It is long gone, I think. Yeah, it's off the list already. So it is kind of a come and go sort of a thing. All right. Well, or maybe it wasn't Odengard, Odengard that we found it at. Maybe it was Chaikan, but I don't think so. Renéon has formed an army. We could go join her. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit up some more of these. I think we'll get another, maybe 15 noobs, and then, um, oops, not in the right place, uh, like 15 more, oh, that's a, that's a city linked one. Um, like 15 more of the riders, so that they can make it to about what we want them to when we get, when we get to the top levels. Because they tend to get themselves dead fast early on. Or I tend to get them dead is probably the more accurate way to put that. Yeah, no glaives in here. Lots of lances, though. Um, no. 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 Ah, there we go. This. I think we'll do this, and then we'll head over to Batanian lands to try to get ourselves some new... Um, 
some new units from where's the other one there <clears throat> new units from the uh, Batanian youths the highborn youths maybe it was Akalat that had the, the weapon there we go that's about that's about what we need we're gonna end up losing some of them on the way especially if we fight like step bandits they'll run away they're fat a little bit faster than me so we're still running at good speed with this uh heavily focused uh ranged contingent go down to the pole arms that's a decently long spear but it's pike style Noble Cavalry Lance, that's a nice one too. It's actually slightly better than the one we've got right now. Noticeably better length, but it's 5,000 bucks. Can't afford to spend five grand on that right now. All right, so no there. Uh, and so what do we have for the noobs? It, uh, because 80 nobles... Oh, we do have 15 of them. Good, good, good. That's enough, then. For sure, that's enough. Uh, these Outriders are just a, a separate group from the SRI, but we got them for, from prisoner training, I guess is the right word. All right, so where we want to head now is probably right through the Central Lands. We are working... Uh, as a battalion against the Western Empire at the moment. Merking against the Western Empire. So over this way we'll come through the back end of Western Empire lands and see what we can see what we can stir up. Alright. Long journeys. Imagine if you had to go to the solar eclipse on horseback. That'd have been a trip. I personally love road trips for almost any reason. Ooh, forest people and battalions captured. Not good, Mr. Great High King. Getting rum toil pur purged or burnt down. That's not cool, dude. Not cool at all. How's our food supply? 324 with almost no food variety. Yeah, we're actually getting a negative from not having enough food variety now. We have grain and olives. Well, that's... No, not, not the button I want to do. Um... Um, butter. Get some grapes. Wool is actually at a good price here. Go ahead and buy that out. Linen is also at a good price. And jewelry is at a good price. Nice. And we'll take uh, about 10 hogs and get some meat supply. Oh, I don't have money for that. Oh, goodness. That was a lot. Oh. I really don't have enough money for that. Like, really, really don't have enough. Holy crap. Why are we so broke? <laughs> Why am I so broke? Gotta go fight some, some bad guys and get some more monies. The amount of grain we have is excessive. For sure. Well, even even at a technical loss in profits, so to speak, we'll uh, let it happen. There you go. 2300 bucks. Uh, but we have no influence left to, to uh, help our cash flow here. So, All right, let's head into... More dangerous territory here and see if we can see if we can mess around with. Caravans, no thank you. Villagers, no thank you. We'll harass them and, and scare them, but I don't want to actually fight them. Ah, hello, you're exactly what I'm looking for. Elite Imperial Elite Menevliatons. Those are nasties. Those are the ones that wrecked our troops last time. No. He's got some elitists, that's for sure. You, sir. We are going to fight, but we're not going to fight by letting our dudes charge this time. Because, you know, dumb. 
Not be dumb this time. Uh, let's actually spread you guys out. Uh, in a, in a more staggered format, please. <clears throat> Massive mounted troop contingents. I love it. Oh my, they're not far away. Excellent. Oh, the tree just saved your life. Oh, that tree just saved your life indeed. You scrub. They don't really have much for range units, but their infantry are... Their infantry are capable of javelin type of shots, so... Ow! Oh! Ah, no, and this time the, this time the save was for me. Oh, sadness. That, uh, Bicellariae or whatever that is here. Ah, oh, failed again. That's going to be javelins hurling at me. He's out playing me again. All right, archers, let's get up to the other Cavalry. side of the river, please. Cavalry. Cav into Wait your position. wedge, Move. your skein. Move. Um, Move and the riders up here. Move out. You don't need that shield, do you? <laughs> what, what a funky duel. So those guys are going to move. Yeah, I was going to say, those guys are eventually going to move out of that position, right? They're not going to stand up there entirely. Oh my god, that was a good hit, dude. Thought so. Don't be that dumb, buddy. Fourth can go up the line. Third into the tre trees on the left flank. This way, please. Warriors! Move out! I'm gonna take the riders on the back side, so we. I think they took out that other unit. Soldier! With me! So let's, yeah, let's come around this side so they're either guarding from us or they're guarding from the. Um. <clears throat> Uh, from the inf the archers in front. Because these Manavlatons are insanely dangerous if we let them. Hear me! Forward! There we go. Horses! Troops! Onwards! Closer position. Yeah, see, they're getting, they're getting shot from each, from both sides now. Yeah. What I can't afford to do is let the cav do... Uh, get into melee range here. I'm hearing them getting hit hard. Warriors! Back Move. up. Back up, boys. Soldiers! Forward! 
your thing. Hard to see the targets. Better, boys. Better this time. Some of the noble sons, as expected. I got them a little in too soon, but free him, boost some relations. 17 prisoners. We don't have any at the moment. The highborns are all ready to. Oh, yeah, they were only highborn warriors. So they were still in their very young stage. All right, better. Some champions upgraded. Blandian Knight upgrades and Gallant. Now the squires I don't think we can upgrade yet because of horses, right? Yeah, that's right. We need 16 um, heavy mounts or war mounts. We're a ways off of that. Uh, let's see. What's our cash at? Nothing. We literally have no cash. Got to get out of this middle of the crazy then. Because I can't even get into town to to deal with those. Um, might as well fight these guys. Stop there. Mm hmm So he's got uh, infantry, some ranged, not particularly great ones. Yeah. So Don't we'll do. Command. We'll use the. We use the range system on these guys. Oh, what did I just click? Onwards! No, that's everybody. <laughs> Oops. No, no, no. Oh my god. That's a big skein. We didn't don't need it quite that wide, dudes. A little excessive here. Alright, and then uh, second, because we don't have an infantry corps. That's what's that's what threw me off there. There we go. Alright. Better. Come on, boy. Uh, I want the Soldiers! infantry here. Forward. I want the Hear riders me. here. Move out. Onwards. Uh, uh, horse archers, I should say. Riders, hear the me. Skein of Move cavalry out. on the side. Oh my gosh. Apparently, they really want to get into the fray immediately here. Just, just for the record, dude, what's behind you is much more dangerous than what's in front of you. Alright. Life lessons. Man, those shields take a hit, eh? 
He does have infantry to, oh, to effective or archer a little bit of archers to effectively counter me here, but apparently this guy is really eager to get dead. So is this guy. 99 damage. Who's? Why are we letting him run? <laughs> Look at this. That's funny. The pot shots me digging here is just amusing. Ah, oh, another noble sundown. All right, fourth Soldiers, and third, your do your thing. Way. Actually, third, follow me instead. As they just get rode over. That's amusing. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. You got a second one before you got a spear picked up. That was beautiful. That went through his spear, or his shield. There's still a dude standing somewhere? There we go. Lost two of the noble sons again. They are just squishies. The first tier of them are just Terribly squishy. So, upgrade right away, please. There's only four, eight of you left. We had 15. That's terrible. The knight, uh, oh. Wait, what? Hold on. Are the knights and the champions both needing horses? No. Oh, I'm out of money. Of course. Oops, let's not do the upgrades. Take the prisoners and not do any upgrades, because... Whoa, what was that? What was that? Oh my. Legionary infantryman, male vest. 35-21-21. Wow. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Uh, and let's see what we have for armor here. Or, uh, who needs this better one? Nice. Let's upgrade our brother's armor even more so he can have it be even harder for me to fight in tournaments. So that just keeps getting tougher and tougher. Uh, 12, 9, better than 14, 8, um, probably not. That's a straight up improvement. And it looks good. Quirky! No fair! Surprise train during... My NSP. Uh, 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 was that NSP or was that a nap? I don't know. If an NSP is a special kind of nap, then I'm sorry for interrupting your nap. <laughs> uh, that's okay. It's okay. It's not super surprising. I, I said I was going to do another one. I didn't. I didn't say when it was going to be because I. I don't know these things until I have, until I actually get there. All right, lots and lots of loot so we can get cash once we can get to a. A safe haven to use it. Let's head up towards, technically head up towards Mar Maranath. Uh, or Epicrotia might be a faster exit. Uh, Lake Peoples, Dysporian, no. Um, that's, I'm too late to save that group. So I'm going to keep my, my distance here because we are not here for the, why is my speed so bad? We're not here for saving our brethren because they're not our brethren. We're just, we're just a hired hand, so we got to remember that. Don't sacrifice the troops. We barely had enough to pay the, the bills there. More battalions captured. Not great. And off he goes, off somebody else goes starting another army. The moment there's a freebie, eh? Welcome, Quirky. Thanks for joining us. Let's get to selling off a bunch of Zalutes. So anything in here that's spectacular. 
No, we'll keep that around as uh, having one blade is a good idea, I think. Uh, heavy quarrels. They're noticeably better. We'll keep that. And a barbed arrow. We're gonna we're keep it holding on to one of these bows. Which one's better? 86, 46, 80. 87, 45, 85. I don't really think it matters. Uh, and we'll hold a shield. Rest can go. Armor. I like how they list them by category. We'll hold on to the pair of boots that are decent. Uh, what are the best ones? 18, 23, 26. Um, 23 is too low for anyone that we have already. Uh, arms. And gear. 14, 10, 8. Okay, we'll hold on to the 14s. Fine wildling armor. Yar, this is what he wears when he's really wanting to fight. <laughs> Silly git. Um, helm. We have a 19 as our best. Uh, shoulder piece. We've got uh, pretty much nothing. And we get that tabard. We'll hold on to two of them. 34, 12, and 30, 27, 13. We actually not have a better... Is this not good for either of them? Oh, yeah. What the heck? Um, You should have that on. And you should definitely have this on. Much better. Okay. Now now we got some gear that's worth keeping. Or that's worth uh, wearing. Uh, those are 1886 18, versus 1795. So pretty much the same thing. We'll drop, we'll drop one of those. Put that off there. Okay. And then release the rest. For 13,000 there. Uh, don't need you. We do need some mounts that are war mounts. And 900 bucks though, we're not going to spend like that. Uh, decrease morale shock. Uh, let's give... You're the rider. You've already got a banner. Norland's riding with the knights as well. They really don't have a shock issue, but I'll keep it anyways. Oh, well, somebody might as well wear it. Um, beer. Let's go with uh, five of those for a little while. Sell off some of the olives. We can butcher those hogs and cows to get us some meat, some more meat, and some hide. Good. Let's see what the hide is worth. Sell that off. Got a good chunk of meat now. Fourteen thousand bucks. Easy come, easy go, guys. <laughs> We're back up to fourteen grand. That fast. Uh, so, troops to keep around. The Bucellarii are actually pretty good. They're a horse archer. That was the guy that was harassing me before. Uh, Chosen Wolf is a um, mounted, or an uh, on-foot elite archer. So we'll keep him around as well. He's similar to the, it's basically a, uh, a rebel version or a bandit version of the, the uh, highboards. Um... And the rest can go. Another two grand in the coffers. All right. So uh, at the beginning, <laughs> two X speed until I catch up. Excellent. At the beginning, we did fight the uh, a couple tournaments. So we reached the stage of Clan Tier Three, which means we're now actually we're three hundred and sixty four. It was three fifty to break the the into Clan Tier Three. To get the next one, we need five hundred, almost five five hundred and what's that? Thirty six five thirty six for renown. So it's going to be a very aggressive attempt to get there this episode or this stream. I don't know if we'll make it that far, but uh, basically what we're going to be wanting to do is these are battalions, even though they look like sturgeons. Uh, what we're going to be wanting to do is uh, load up on troops and find lots and lots of mercenary fights to go. So this should be just a a back to back blood battle until we can crank up that um the renown 
Seonin, uh, Seonin, Buntug Castle. Six more we need. We'll go ahead and look for any horses at 15,000. Uh, oops, wrong spot. At 15,000, we definitely want to get more ponies. Glintar ponies are good at 600. I'll take those. It's two of them. There's more pony sales over here in Glintar itself. Um, and elite units. More Glintar ponies. Five of them. Good. Uh, yeah, that is a noble mount, not a war mount. That one's also war mount. Uh, 38.62. That's a super pricey horse. Let's see, we're at 10,000 bucks. We have about, well, we have 1,200 as our, or our uh, party expense. 1,200 bucks a day. So we need to be offloading four influence a day to maintain that. We don't quite get that much. Um, Noble Sun's upgraded, please. Uh, but we do get... Wires upgraded. We do get, you know, almost all of it. So we're only spending a couple hundred right now. Um, only spending a couple hundred uh, dollars a day right now until the, we run out of... Oh, that that is... Uh, that's Sturgeon. Uh, the Sturgeons have the... Um, the elite units of the or Ortox, they start out as an infantry at, after, I guess, tier 4. Then they go to tier 5 as a mounted, uh, very heavily armored mounted unit. So very, very nice uh, elite units, those guys. That's what Hannah's using. Uh, here, Fendrake. Right. Oh, hello. Lucon of the Northern Empire declares war on the Batanians. Well... It's a uh, all-out war, apparently. Oh, hold on. Um, that's more than we need, huh? Well, let's take that one, and then we'll go and release one of the younger ones. So one of the youths can go back. Good. All right. So, uh, Lindorn, you had a quest. What is it? Need access? No, thank you. I will take your hogs, though. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da. Fur at 104. Very nice. Garbanseth. Or Kyrbanseth. Or however you'd pronounce that properly, I don't know. Do 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 Fishes. Fishes, fishes, fishes. Um, er, 84. Pigs. No, I was keeping those pigs for huntables later. Or butcherable later. So let's go find ourselves some more to mess around with. Uh, decide to make peace with the Western Empire. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at what uh, kind of peace he's doing. So, Western Empire... Get off their text. Western Empire is... Oh my goodness. He offered a $2,530 daily tribute to peace out with the Western Empire. He's in rough shape. 3,400 strength, and then the Northern Empire piles in on it. Not good. Uh, hardwood at 26 is not a great price. In and out. Okay. So, ideas on where you guys think we should, uh, uh, where we should go for our faction stuff to build our own kingdom. Um, there are two kind of lines of thought I'm having here. Either we specifically target an area and work towards building relations there, um, or we can look to doing, where's the merch? It's this guy. Uh, what's your game? That one that I always lose. Okay, so we're just going to pay our way out of this one. Uh, or we can give ourselves the... Uh, uh, the more... random approach and wait for something to become... Uh, rebel. Wait for a rebellion to happen... Uh, that we can take advantage of. 
Villager needs draft animals. I don't have very many sumpters, but maybe that's what they want. Uh, what's our cargo? We're good on our cargo, so maybe he wants sumpter animals. Right. If that's the case, I'll happily sell them. Seventeen healthy sumpter animals. Okay. We'll do it. Now we're down to 4,000 capacity. Fair enough. Clay for 10 bucks. Take it. Oh, also cheese. Thanks for your cheese. That was an easy mission there. Garbanzeth. I mean, ben Penkana. To sell some stuff. There's the fur at 200. Nice sale. Clay is only 7. Olives, no. Oh, uh, actually, let's see if there's any super, super deals. Grape at 17 is quite good. Might as well get some for food and other reasons. Beer at 36 is a decent buy. Not going to buy a ton of it because we'll just drink it away. Play at 9, sure. Tools at 51, decent. Yeah, quite a good price. Let's buy a, a cluster of those. 25, sure. I don't know it's 60. No, pottery at 65 is quite good. Yeah, let's do that. We'll leave and we'll head south. Head towards uh, Sargo. Hey, looters. No, get away from my, get away from my loot. Oh, you're a jerk face. All right, good. We captured them. It was either that or the, I was going to send the archers to do some target shooting, but... Jerkface came and messed up my plans. Okay. I got. I go. I don't know. They have a little bit of a French undertone to them, this crew. So, you know, maybe. Maybe it's circle. There's a French Canadian culture around me. I, that's where I go to with that. Stuff. Play at 13 is not bad. Uh, the pottery, would it be right at 60-something? 70-something? Uh, just having a quick peek again for weapons. Seriously want a glaive so bad that I'm looking, willing to look in Sargo, and I don't even think they ever have it. What is that? A peasant head wrap. Well, that is a weird... It looked like some sort of crescent blade. Um, mounts... Still too pricey. These people really, really overvalue their mounts. Lax at 10 is pretty good. You can buy it from the villages, though. Let's head through the... Oh, oh, Western Empire's at war with whom? I would guess the Asarai. No, it's Vlandia. Okay. Now, we have... Uh, Northern Empire over here, which is starting to thin out. They're down to five cities. I was going to say, did we gain, regain a city? But that's from that's from Hannah's world. All right, let's uh, have a look at crew. And then there is uh, some prisoners there. And then there's some quests and levels. Ah, charm. Okay. In bloom. Relations with members of the opposing gender. Or the same gender. We're gonna go with relations of same gender. Because there's a, we're playing a dude and there's more dudes around. By a large margin. Um damage with two-handed axes and maces, or swing speed of two-handed weapons. So let's put this one to a question for you guys. Uh, you know what? No, we went last time we did this one, so we'll do this one again the same way as we did in the previous series. Um, your Western Empire Dysporian, you're not... Yeah, you guys are going down to... Whoa! Oh, they just disbanded. It's like, what the heck happened there? Just broke? They didn't break. They legit disbanded. Yeah, they've really... Uh... The Empires are shifting borders for sure. All right, Caladog's army's over here where? Epicortia? It looks like he is. Ah, whoa, hi. Are you, oh, you're friendly. 
Yes, your Western Empire. We're no longer fighting your, your peoples. Silver at 85? I'll take it. We're getting short on cash again. Um, there was a bunch of forest bandits over there, but forest bandits are not are the only group that's really not good for us to... Hi. Um, are you guys fighting? I don't think you are. I think you're waiting for somebody else. Which makes me wonder if you've got friends coming in behind you. They're not fighting. That's curious. He's backed off, huh? Interesting. Siege equipment going in. Ah, Kerr with a marriage offer. From the Sturgeons. She's a calculating, merciless, close fisted, unskilled person. So I'm going to go with decline. You never let me marry for love. They're emails, dude. Not real love. <laughs> Weird. Tuesday gaming. You, you don't game on Tuesdays? Tuesday evenings would be weird for me to game during, you know, normal, normal stream time for me on a Tuesday wouldn't be a thing, because I'm with the little ones Tuesday nights. There goes the battle. Interesting. So they're going to initiate a counter fight here. And I'm not going to engage in it. Ah, you, however, might be of interest to me. Yes, you are. You are of interest to me. He's going to make it into the city. But he's not going to get there to, to defend his brethren. Lucan uh, with his 177. That's going to be a mess. Don't think Lucan's 177 are going to be quite as easy. That's too, too many. He's not, he's, he is going to back off. I'm just going to try to play the defender mode here. Sturgeon's declared a <laughs> weapon. Oh, God. <laughs> They're a freaking pinball. <laughs> we got Steward 151 now. Uh, aid course. Wounded troops in your party are no longer paid wages. Well, that's terrible. Um... As the governor growth, uh, hearth growth, so it's the central, basically village growth, um, or relocation, plus 25% influence gain from donating troops. Interesting. I mean, I don't care if wages are paid to the troop. Yeah, no, we'll do the influence gain one. It's not a particularly big move either way. Uh, so our pole arm is full, filled up. Our riding could be improved. It's it's not training well, so let's do that. Ah, good, good, good. Okay, I'm playing too dangerous of a game here. If the both of them turn on me, we got troubles. But Lucan gets through that way. That's too bad. I don't want to get myself caught for Caladog. It's just not worth it. Caladog's going to get himself wrecked. Yep. He lost that fight. And because he lost the fight, everybody makes it in there well equipped. That's too bad. But now we've got the Empire, the Northern Empire here, and the Sturgeons at war with us. And Rimtoil Castle is being sieged. Jeepers. What a mess. What an absolute mess, man. But Danian's, uh, Caladog's not holding things together here. Not at all. They make such a hard commitment to their sieges, like, they just go in and they're like, yep, yeah, I'm sieging this now, and I'm never leaving until I win, and then they lose. Um, needs tools. I believe Yours we have awesome. some. Yeah. 
There we go. Hardwood at 17 is decent. Shrubbery! I barely wake up Tuesdays. Uh, we can't, we can't afford to buy the cotton stuff because we are literally out of money again. Jeepers. Couldn't pay wages. Arg! Our wages are crashing. Not good, dude. Not good. Sell the things. Um. Sell the clays. Sell the potteries. We'll even sell the javelins. And the quarrels. I get some of them dealt with. Army of poachers. I do not remember what the army of poachers quest is, is about. Magnus, there's Mangus. These guys have 600 defenders. Oh! Yeah, because it's entirely full of armies. The Northern Empire has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parties there. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Thinking. Hard to do as you travel, my friend. Um, silver. Little profits off that. Some tools, sure. So we get a bit of cash. That's too big of a group for us to mess with. Is he going after a city? No, he's going to go pillage a village. You guys are going to counter siege this? Or are you going to fight him? No, you're just going to stand there and let him decide. I feel like that's a foolish choice on your part. Oh, man. The Tannians, dudes. Oh, they're so terrible at this. They're just getting rocked. Constantly rocked. If we can take a pot shot of that guy. Nope. Uh, oh my, you just respawned, dude. Bad timing. Ah! Gosh. Cowards hiding away. Constantly hiding away. What castle are you going to hide in this time? Darn it. Can I catch him? I don't think I can even catch him. I feel like the answer to that is no. He's just going to pop into another castle somewhere. you in the mountains so count does it work Stop oh yes fast. got him <laughs> all right uh we're gonna fight you which is probably not worth the effort but i'm taking command all right ha! great weather for it <clears throat> our priming might be uh might be wet from this oops that was everybody Warriors! archers here Get moving um, horse archers there. Move! Horse! Make a group! Unfounce! Onwards! You jerks. Ow. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. There's too many of you. Ow. 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 Didn't look around. Ow. 
Listen, dude. I will take out your camel if you don't stop. Fine. Somebody kill him, seriously? Clean this up. This is silly. Those guys are tough and tall. Keeps hitting me hard. These guys are tough. You're broke. In fact, you had great speed with all mounted troops. Um, uh, we don't have all mounted troops right now. We've added in uh, archers because our all mounted armies were facing uh, some serious damages. We were losing 10 and 15 of them at a time after leveling them up. Uh, the Manaflatons were becoming an issue. Uh, so we've been working to regain uh, an archer core. Because a standing bunch of Batanians can rip through those, uh, those guys that counter the horse. So mixed formations and all that jazz again. <clears throat> nice. A southern reinforced male armor. That's a notable upgrade from a bro- Why did my brother get- what? Hmm. I thought I gave him the other gear before. Bad. We should really, uh... Yeah, I'm really, really, really wanting to get a hold of a glaive, but... What I need to do is get to market. Get some kills, get some get some stuff back to market. That's how we gotta run this, but we're out too far and the enemy keeps rolling in giant armies, leaving us very little to target. Please be a selling one. Deliver her to Zeonica. I have like zero interest in raiding all the way to Zeonica. With three hundred bucks in hand and only five hundred Coming in from our um, five hundred bucks come in from the uh, the mercenary thing. It's just not not making enough money here. And back at into the fray. Legata would be a better space to be. Dancing around with all the army passes there. Rumtoil's being sieged again. What the heck? So the our team beat off the fight? Nope. Ah, hello, friend. Sixty-two ranged. I have a solution for your sixty-two ranged units. They're called, uh, 55 Cavalry. 15 of them are infantry recruits, some crossbowmen, and some archers. He's got 15 Cavalry and 26 infantry. Three Manevletons only. Know the, know the battle, know the field, right? Oh my orders. Uh, that's looking not bad as a battleground for us. Okay. Second, up here in loose Run formation. Troops, move it. Soldier, onwards. Soldier, forward. Warrior, loose formation. Fourth, Make third, us fourth over that way. Move. Raiders, third over me. that way. Get moving. Two 
200 yards, huh? Hear me! Move! Horsemen! Move out! Cavalry! Onwards! Okay. Now, how does this Focus. work for... Forward! Move! Onward! There, with those guys. Good. Bounce! Move out! Warriors! Stay close! Riders, follow me, or ar horse archers, follow me. You're going to be a standing archer core for now. Hear me! Move out! Don's guard getting the first kill. In spite of the fact those guys have 120 or 120 range out, they're at the length of their range. Our bows, our guys wield long bows, which have a much more accurate long range. They're gonna start breaking. There they go. Cavalry, follow me. Fourth on your own. Ride through them, boys. Don't don't dance with them. Ride through them. Nope, nope. Rob, right through me. Right through them. Oh, move! Everyone. No, not everyone. Warriors, follow your target. That dude just ducked to recharge his crossbow. That was awesome. He accidentally ducked my attack. Him. Command is yours. Write him down, whoever's left. So yeah, having the riders uh, in if because this is a super tight, hilly mess of a spot. It's not going to be good for the knights to do their charging. What a miss. <laughs> were, you, were you hiding from the boss? Three, uh, three wounded. We absolutely dominated them. Tactics, bros. Tactics. I'm not good at the logistics part. Apparently that's good for winning wars, but apparently I'm terrible at it. Um, I would like to remove one of the recruits so we are not over and they don't get to pick who runs away, which always ends up being like the baddest of them all. Um, armor. It's a better helm for you. Don't mind if we do. Um, 611. No. 
Yeah, let's go with that one. An upgrade. Way to go, brother. You're tougher. Now it'll be even harder to beat you. I feel like this is a, uh... <clears throat> Good time to mention you should definitely not have your brother running with you if you're trying to do tournaments. He's pretty nasty hard to beat. So they just knock back that siege again, and the problem well, I was just gonna say, and they're probably hanging out right up there. Lucon and friends. Nope, you're coming down the valley. That's not ideal. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get out of there then. I do not need to get trapped somewhere. We'll go back around the long way around Marinoth. So we get a 1.15 from uh, running bonus from running cavalry, or 1.1 from cavalry, but we're 0.53 loss when we're running a full uh, prisoner contingent. So we definitely need to make sure we watch out for that. The ghoul woman, no. Uh, these are Asurai heavy cavalry. They're actually a uh, a bow uh, archers. They're a horse archer style, so I'll keep them along, around. Uh, the Ferris we know are pretty good as well. Drop that, 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 that off. Equite can go, 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 go. If you're the top tier, maybe. Like the Cataphracts will hold on to. The other ones, no. 2100 bucks there. Um, Offload junk. Right. I mean, it's harder to make money than it was in the modded one. Um, but it's more sensible. The, the towns actually have the capacity to buy and sell things. You don't get 15,000 of an item sitting around waiting for you. Needs tools. I bet you I just sold all my tools, didn't I? I recently sold them all. Meh. Not important. Maranath it is. Rodorak's army is not going to be much of an army. Hey, riding is 150. Nice. What do we have here? Hmm, <clears throat> pictures? Hmm. Uh, horse archer. Oh, of the, uh, of the... Of the eclipse. All right, so our riding 150, which is our riding sixth, we could do focus on the range damage, personally, and damage by mounted archers in your formation. Or we could do 5% mounted melee damage and mounted uh, melee damage to troops in your formation. So the question is, am I going to be leading the late game? Am I going to be more likely leading the cavalry charges, or am I more likely to be leading the group that does the horse archers? Which should I do? I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. So we've got um, riding 150 with horse archer. Basically, us and our troops get more damage on with mounted ranged weapons. Damage by mounted archers. I don't know if that's... Yeah, range damage by well mounted. The, the second half doesn't specifically say, but I'm guessing this is actually saying damage by ranged units. The mounted archers can still wield a blade, right? They have swords or, or pole arms frequently. Uh, does that also count for them? Um, mounted warrior is, again, melee damage for us. Less melee damage, but uh, 5% and 5% to our mounted troops. These are both captain. The second ones are both captain skills, so we have to be leading that group for that to affect. So, uh, this is the riding 150. And the first one is called Horse Archer. The second one is called Mounted Warrior. There we go. Pulls up. Go ahead and vote. That will uh, help suggest whether or not I should focus one way or the other when we're doing uh, battles. So this one I'm not giving you the choice on. <laughs> Uh, the show strength option for the two-hander is 30% uh, chance of knocking enemies down with a heavy hit and 20% recruitment cost of infantry. 
The other one is uh, Baptized in Blood. Five a plus 5 XP to infantry in your party for each enemy you kill with a two-handed weapon. 5% uh, exp experience to melee troops in your party after every battle. That is party leader 5% to melee troops. So huge. Leadership number three is up as well. Party size bonus or uh, as a captain battle morale penalty to enemy enemy troops in your formation. If you're in your formation, kill an enemy. When troops in your formation kill an enemy. 5% battle morale. Um, no, I think we'll go with the party size limit. Having five more knights or five more battalions probably worth more than the other option. Uh, these are regular troops. Um, how are we for limit now? I guess that gives us, that frees up some more slots, huh? I think 30, uh, 13, 20, 10, 22, 27. Okay, we'll get a few more youths. And the other castle-related town is actually down, back down here, isn't it? Oh, Abkumar. Let's do that. Oh, too many. All right, now we've gotten like 2.1k or 21k troops. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go over here. Oh, they ran away. Never mind, they ran right into an enemy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Aster Castle, the Batanian Castle. It's not actually Batanian. It's currently owned by the Western Empire. It's being taken out by the Vlandians. And that's weird. So the Vlandians are taking... Oh, it's Lucan! Well, now, oh, wait, 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 what? How did he get away? What? Come back here. I know your tricks. My tricks are to run you down, buddy. Run you down, then run that 94 down, then let the army take care of the big one. There you go. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, okay, so we are going to put our units in here. I don't... Oh, I initiated this fight. Wait. So my allies... I actually get to captain my own... Or give my, my own captain's commands. Okay. You guys are going to go loose formation, and there's only a few of you here, which is awkward. You guys are going to go in the skein formation over here. Oh, we have so few of you. Okay. Mostly not me here. At 150 yards, I want the riders here. Mm, yes. Bowman, you're going to be right in this little nook here. Actually, that's too tight. Right here. Forward. Good. Horses. Horse archers over here, please. Right in behind. Get moving. Me. Right on me. Follow me, boys. Oh my gosh. Bounce. Move out. That is way closer than I thought it was. Bows. Get moving. Horses. Troops! Onwards! There we go. Oh, to me! Come on, boy! Whoa! Hi! would have hit that guy. No problem. <laughs> nice. Warriors, follow your sergeant. Oh, on me. It's right to the back of the battle, boys. Got to be some archers around there we can smash around, huh? There we go. Important. Lucan! 
<laughs> we didn't get the kill on him. That's okay. Follow your sergeants. Look at this little one-man duel over here. Oh, there he goes. He got him. Nice. I love what the the new standards. They like where the last man of the crew dies, the stand the enemy standard gets left in the field. That's awesome. All right, so this is not an uh, the end of this war battle. There's a whole bunch of little fights potentially gonna go on here. My concern is we'll get sucked into something that'll draw a bunch of our dudes to death, which would be bad, pretty bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, you guys just were done there? Chug the some coffee. Four and a half influence, that'll help. Through Renown. Emperor Lucan. So Emperor Lucan and his family are never going to be interested in joining us, so they can rot. Prisoners it is. Uh, we could bring on some troops, but no, I won't, because that would be unhelpful. Um, I'm going to bring a few of you guys up so those both train. Uh, we're going to up the heroes because we're going to be in another fight right away. I think we're going to need to fully upgrade unit groups here. In fact, I am going to do that. I'm just going to give them a big old everybody gets upgraded. Uh, can I clear with the new horses? And we don't have the mounts for those guys. We have the money, but no mounts. Um. No, no, no. Okay, loot's up, please. Now, I want to move this way and get out of this battle immediately. Because that seems like a mosh pit I don't want to mess with. Yeah, everybody else is doing the same thing. I see. All right, they're all like, I'm out of here. Sorry, guy with a big army. You're stuck. But let's see if we can... Oh. We can do this. Watch me ride through and change the battle forever. <laughs> they all saw me moving in, and that balance shifted the the battle in their favor. We could wait till the very till they're just about done, and then come in and pretend like we're the heroes of the battle. Mercenary life, you know. Mercenary life. I don't think they're gonna need help but we could we could get involved yeah let's get involved now make sure that make sure the battle goes in our favor without us losing a ton of stuff okay all of my troops follow me for a minute because that would be uh silly if we lose oh what no you guys aren't all uh, what uh, the scorpions i was looking for the sword i was like why is why is all these strange dudes coming towards me yeah i was looking for the swords okay We'll uh, let the gap close a little. Our army will move on the west, on the left flank here. This is so impressive looking. Look at the numbers. The Bumblebergs are uh, making a difference now. We can sway battles. Entire kingdoms can rise and fall on our... Okay, that's a little excessive. All right. Uh, mount it, or... Rangers on this side, please. We're gonna flank Burn. that group. Warriors! Horse archers here between Forward. here and there. Hear me! Knights, keep riding with me. Oh my god. They're getting wrecked. What the heck? Where did, where did my army go? Where did, where did my mounts go? Or my uh, infantry go? What the heck? Did my... Did my units just run into that melees? No, 
They didn't. Warriors! Have a stick for me! That was the enemy's infantry. I thought I didn't couldn't see my guys over here in the in the forest. Don't let them at our riders or at our archers, dudes. That infantry, destroy them. Fourth, that infantry, destroy. Second, that's your target. shot when the dude just gets crushed underneath. Intentionally trying to knock these guys off their guard here. Everyone run! <laughs> Everyone run! <laughs> That's this guy right here. Right up me! Warriors! Follow your side! Oh, command is yours! Lean up, boys. Everyone follow your sergeant! Get back here. No. There you go. The tree stopped him, and Norgan got him. Nice. Well, it wasn't a perfectly clean battle. What were our losses? Ramble lost seven. A Fian, Highborn Warrior, that's not surprising. They did get a few of them into us. A Knight, two Squires, and a Galant. 106 lost on our side, dead on our side. Well, I was here. 96 dead on their side. But all of their wounded are now prisoners. All right, you're welcome. The name's Ramble. You might want to fight for me on the... sometime. You're at 44 relations already, nice. Didn't see the riding vote? Should be there. Did it did it work now? No. It's not up there. Yeah, you might have to em, em, uh, exit the chat and then come back in. Uh, Alright, so you're, you're a happy fellow. Thank you. Uh, Arkan. Mm -hmm. You are free to go. Um... What family are you in? Your own. You're free to go. Akon Penton. You're in the Naretsi clan. Um, Penton is the leader. He is... a vassal. 
There we go. 96 prisoners of 70. Nice. Uh, all the youths are trained. All the highborns are trained. All the fiends are trained. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's... Uh, no, 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 no. Cancel. No, I want to reset. Uh, I want the highborns up. We'll wait on the youths. Uh, squares are not training because we don't have the horses for them. That's the real big downer there. You guys in here. Um, we'll let you stay as is. I'll train you in a group together. All the goods. Of the Kankli. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on paying higher wages for the rest of them. Love that we've got Lucan as a prisoner. I do not want to ransom him off easy. Get those and those out of the mix. And then let's take the higher tier stuff. For uh, better monies. Get more money for a tier 6, of course, than you do for a low B. So we'll do that. And the, some of the uh, upper echelons we can keep for uh, for our own recruiting. Uh, that's fine. There, there, there. Okay. So Outrider will keep. Uh, no, you know what? No, not an Outrider anymore. We got enough of the right. Well, uh, we'll keep them. In case we need to replace them uh, later. We can always... You know, we can always get rid of them later. Um, that's good there. Okay, 70 prisoners. There's no troops to bring because they didn't have any prisoners with them. 3166. That's not going to be as good as ours or our brothers. But it might be better for these ladies. No, nope. no, nope, not for you. Um, no, see this? She's a, an archer. Um, and they, yeah, the points, that's another... 14 armor for the leg and the arms and only losing three for the body so i actually like the idea of you getting a knight's kite shield a notable improvement and a bit better on the shoulder piece well your shoulder piece is pretty fancy looking so maybe we'll leave it is that better hold on it shows better oh yeah body armor's up good Oh, yeah, look at that. It even matches the suit. Come on. 3376. Still not as good. A legendary Pelum. That's what the uh, Batania, or the. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice upgrade. Uh, oh, look at her. Look at her getting all decked out. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. 1823. Wow. Uh, I think that's better than mine. No, it's not. What about my brothers? Oh, dude, you're just going to be impossible to beat in tournaments after this. Jeepers. He's more heavily armored than, like, Lucon was. Well, that probably was Lucon's armor. <laughs> Maybe not, but it, it's possible. Uh, that is a better blade in most categories, but notably shorter. Wow. Look at the value on some of these things. Uh, we could upgrade his horse if he needs it. Yeah, he's got a regular mount. Can you use this one? Yeah. A Palmation. Noble mount for you, good sir. A Masterwork Calvatic Mace. Very nice. All right, let's take all that loots. Very, very nice. Now we're tied. <laughs> all right. Look at... <laughs> okay. I think we turned the tide there. Look at the leftovers. <laughs> it was basically just us at the end. Totally not manipulating those numbers at all. Look at that. So we waited until they bled everyone dry and would have lost the battle and then rode into the victory instead of starting from the beginning and saving everybody's lives. <laughs> Clearly a mercenary's choice right there. All right. Uh, hit the Maranoth. Actually, you know what? We should probably stick around a few minutes. Because it'd be like one little squad. Oh, there he goes. Now he's getting his numbers back. They just had wounded troops and needed to recover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was like, what, a dozen of them standing? All right. <laughs> that was just terrible. Makes me laugh, but it was a horrible, horrible thing to do.
Uh, is this a better mount? In almost every way, but the maneuver is my favorite factor. If I had to rate, the maneuver would be way higher ranked for me. Uh, yeah, that's a better mount, and you can use it, so let's do that. This is a regular mount, unfortunately, not a... Not a war mount. That is a war mount. The ruin seat can go. It's a regular mount. So yeah, we don't need all these except for to mount to to help our our guys move a little faster. So I mean, we can keep an eye on that, but we don't. We're not going to buy horses here at these rates. Uh, let's double check the gear that we're tossing. Gloves to... What are we at now for the best gloves? That's a lot of gloves. 22. Yep, we'll keep one of the 22s for later. Uh, our best boots in-house are 26s. We'll keep one of those. $75,000 in the store, so we can definitely handle that. Um, let's hold a couple of these. We'll stop holding those. We're going to... Actually, just one of them is fine. There, this one's thirty-one six six or thirty-three seven six. So that is actually the better piece, even though that one's more valuable. Thirty-one six six, thirty-three seven six. Yeah, so it's better by three points overall, and it's cheaper. Weird. Uh, shoulder pieces, twelve nine. Yeah, we'll hold on to that one valuable piece there. And then for the helms, we'll keep that 19 coif. Okay. Offload the rest. $32,000. Ah, happy heart. Um, I was keeping the step bow in case we wanted to use a bow in a battle, which is probably a good idea. Um, yeah, we'll hold on to those. And I'll hold one better shield there. Good, and the weapons. Wow, horse or lance. That's pretty darn good for if we have a friend that wants to do lancing, if we end up with that. Uh, the really good Spatha down here versus that one. That's actually better than my blade right now in every category. All right then. Um, then we'll hold this one for later, but only one of them. Sheepers. I love that Kelradic mace. It's like, it should be some sort of like judge's mace, you know, like the uh, type of mace a, a, a king might carry with him. It, as a ceremonial thing. That's like mostly ceremonial, but also would bash your head if you take him off. You know, that sort of thing. Um, I'll keep the sheep for now. We'll drop a bit of this grain off to help the people. Because we can. Butter, cheese, and meat is good. Clay is at 12, not a good price. Grapes, we have lots. What else don't we have? Green, fish, grapes, cheese, meat, olives. We have 11 olives, okay. Butter, beer. We're always short on beer. That's expensive beer. Take a few for, for the road, you know, but that's it. And some date fruit. Just a day or so of variety boost. And that's it. That's valuable. We're at 46 is okay. Pottery at 70. Uh, that's okay. We can do that. We don't have a lot of cargo capacity, so... I'm going to hold on to 10 of these um, tools for questing. Wine at 102 doesn't seem like a great price. 36% above average, huh? Or below average. All right. Uh, what do we got for meat? 27? There we go. So, 70,000. We're back up to 95k. Don't mind if I do. Oh, man. You guys got to make a choice. Somebody's got to vote. Somebody's got to vote. Somebody that doesn't know about the vote, hit, type in one or two. <laughs> Just give me a random number. Uh, this is the discard page, so we can actually butcher the animals from here. Good. All right. Uh, prisoners that we don't want to keep. 
Why did it reset the number? Hold on. That just... I almost gained a level. Hey, we got some roguery skills. If I go there and then I do here, it keeps them locked. If I do it the other way, it unlocks them. Now, I don't know if that holds the unlock or not, but... All right. We got a roguery skill and we got our charm skill. Nice. Um... Hmm. Okay. Flexible ethics. That's a... <laughs> quite the term uh firebrand or flexible ethics as the clan leader minus 25 percent influence cost to initiate kingdom decisions i'll explain that in a minute and party leader one recruiting slot from rural nobles rural notables so not in the cities but in uh villages which will include the villages that produce the elite units uh flexible ethics um for m more recruits from cities which is less useful for my own but more useful for um for me restocking uh, siege uh, or defensive garrisons and whatnot. Uh, the flexible ethics is minus 30% influence cost when voting for kingdom proposals made by others. So it's cheaper for me to vote on other people's things. As the clan leader, we could have more influence for kingdom uh, to initiate kingdom decisions here. So this one, we're going to be going our own kingdom. So we'll focus there. There we go. Horse Archer won the vote. There it is. The Horse Archer gets the vote. Uh, 10% ranged damage well mounted and 5% damage to mounted archers. The opposite was the melee. So this is when we're leading the, the mounted group, which makes sense to me because if we're, we don't have to be riding around doing the archery ourselves, we do to get that first bonus, but the captain bonus, we don't need to have our own uh, mounted unit for that or our own, our own archers for that. We'll go ahead with increasing our riding as well. Let's see what we have for friends that need them. Uh, Loan has her bow skill at 100. Excellent. She is our archer captain. Merry Men. Party leader gets more size or personal accuracy penalty to bow well, well, mount, well, uh, bow well mounted. She's not a mounted unit. Security provided. None of these matter. Uh, we'll just do that one in case she is in a party, then she gets a boost. None of those matter to her because she's going to be, uh, she's our companion that will stay with us as a companion leading, uh, leading our archer corps. So, uh, medicine. We got good lodging and we've got best medicine. So, uh, this is the 100 point choice. Uh, my aunt neighbor had telescope set up. Your aunt's neighbor had a telescope. Let, take a couple pictures from. Oh, that was. That's awesome. That's what those are. I, thought, I just looked at those and thought, oh, those look like. Just uh, a general stat. Was that you that was sent them on the Discord? Yeah, I think that I thought that was just like somebody posting, you know, generic somebody stuff. That was cool. You got to see that exact thing. That's awesome. Um, I don't know if numbers work. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick them. I assume you can pick the first one as number one, but I don't think you can just. It's not the type of, uh, unfortunately, the YouTube one doesn't let you do quite as much as some of the, uh, the Twitch things. Like when you're watching Radamant, you can, you get, he's got a uh, program for that. I don't think that program works inside YouTube. I'm going to check to see if, try to figure out what it is to see if I can do that. But so the next one is our medic is now at a hundred. So she gets medicine four. So, um, Uh, medic point 100 is going to be either best medicine, which is a surgeon and a personal. So this is for her, not for us. And the lodge is also surgeon and personal. She gets both of these. The second effect is her own. The first effect is, uh, if is, uh, for being the surgeon. So plus 15% health rate. Well, party morale is a uh, healing rate. Well, party morale is above 70, which is all the time, unless we're running out of money, basically. Um, and then personal relations per day with a notable over the age of 40 when your party's in town. Or the same personal bonus, but surgeon rate while resting in a settlement. So healing rate up by 15% if our morale is over 70. Or healing rate 20% if we're resting in a settlement. We've got uh, best medicine or good lodging.
There we go. Okay. So, successful, good victories there. We saved, uh... Saved the Batanians again. Uh, I love the auto... The auto... Um... The auto relations gains. Well, uh, copper pr or iron prices are not great. Not great prices right now. Oh, hardware. Where are you headed to? I'm just headed to go get oh 43 influence we've gained on that. Look at that. <laughs> We're gaining a thousand bucks a time at a time. I'd rather it only like equal whatever our cost is so we don't lose money but yeah it's one six a dozen six of one half a dozen of the other turkey nizzle garrett your conus and sorry i genuinely can't understand even one of those words i'm i apologize uh but nope can't can't help you respond to that i speak english and bad english Best medicine so far is winning the votes. <clears throat> Give another minute or two. Oh, there was a quest here. Hold on. Um, Commons, no thank you. Ah, a Dreer has created Nami. Right there, just waiting for... Oh, Flax at nine. Yes, please. Take it. Uh, not a great time to be creating an army, dude. Creating an army while you're running into 760 Sturgeon troops. That's a lot of them. Like, a whole lot of them. They have... 10 prisoners. Where are you gonna stand, dude? You're not... I'm not helping you. You just formed an army. Where are you gonna hang out and, and get... I think he was trying to get his army built together there. Or he's still heading somewhere to try to find a place to build his army. Well, uh, let's hit that. Those little groups are useful if we send our archers yeah, to do the killing. Unless he auto dies. Nope, he just auto surrenders. Not great for the warrior training. We need bigger groups to get the warrior training done. Uh, I don't think Garius is. It's he's not at war with us. I don't think he's one that. No, he can't help us with the Pendraics because. Uh, what's our numbers here? Doesn't matter. We have eight more we can recruit, but there's no one there to recruit. Hey, hey, what are you doing taking the recruits? I need a battle that is kind of just poking at a large batch of, of looters, you know, like 30, 40 looters, and we can actually get some shots on them. Uh, no, no, not there to recruit. I'm here to trade. We might want to see if we can get some more ponies. Yeah, there we go. 11 glinter ponies. That will work nicely. Those are too expensive. Yep. Okay, flax uh, we bought at night. We sell it between 11 and 15. Sell off the hide that we get for free. Uh-huh. Dates at 60. We'll take them. Cheese. Cheese is a little pricey. Take a few more. Gotta keep that food stocks up, you know? Important. We need to do those find uh find some some cannon fodder to do some shooting. Needing laborers. I think we might have some for you, sir. Uh probably not enough to fulfill his quest, but Well now street We'll see. Find some prisoners. Twenty-four of them. So if we have, uh, if we get more, we'll go back that way. That might be enough right there, actually, and they will probably auto surrender. Apparently not. Okay. Listen up. Him, don't have hold our troops. Attack. Go archers. Now, we can use uh, our two-hander to help level them, too, which is nice.
We gain a bit of XP while smashing things with two-handed weapon. <laughs> Let's uh dismount and see if I can run in there and do any damage first. Probably not. Oh, <laughs> those two we chopped through one hit. That was awesome. Victory! That was enjoyable. So we we ditched ten, we handed ten XP to the units by doing that. That's all right. Hey, some beer. We killed them all, unfortunately. But no prisoners there. I are surprised, actually. Come on. Stop the disorganized thing. You, you take too long to reorganize, friends. Um, chargers. Those are war mounts. Good. Let's do that. And let's have a look at our upgrades for Squire. Oh, there's only a few Squires left, eh? Hmm. Forty-six units to be upgraded. I will do the Riders, but not the others. Good. Those guys can stick around. Upgrade as a group, please. Let's go see what other mischievous battles we can get into. These Batanians, man, they're paying the paying the bills, that's for sure. Gold change, 103. We only lost 103 bucks doing that. Hi, Caladog. Wait, you're... Wait, what? I haven't spoken to... Well, now, stranger. I haven't spoken to Caladog about Pendraic's folly? Well, there you go. That finishes the Pendraic's folly quest. Excellent. In and out. <laughs> no. That town's attached to here. It's under siege. Yeah, Adru's army is not gonna do much there. Not great. That siege might actually work if they take longer, if they take less time than Sionan siege. Alright, uh, prisoner offloads. Um... Literally, all, we've still got Luke on with us. Usually he escapes by then, but that's amusing. Uh, all right. There's one dude we need to talk to here. 19 chargers. Yes, please. That's awesome. Okay. Arzagos. Hi. So, you probably are aware that I am Arzagos. I'm not sure why you have sought me out, but know that my old life as an Imperial lapdog is over. So, who are you, and what brings you to me? I bring a piece of the banner, the dragon banner of Calrantius. Well, that is interesting. You sure looked excited, huh? You may Crazy have one bugger. piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. Indeed. The banner of Calrantius is part of a legend. It was said to be carried by Caradius the Great, who first led his people to this land to conquer and despoil. The legend says that no army led by a true son of Caradius shall be defeated in battle. Convenient legend, eh? Of course, the Caradians have been defeated many times, but I guess those were not true sons. Still, you could say it represents the strength and endurance of this empire. A buyer? I can help you do far more than that. Where can I find the other pieces? You and I need to know more about each other. I don't know what you know about me. I was a citizen of the Empire. I was a commander in the Imperial armies. But I am not Imperial. I am what they call Palaic. Palaic is a language that is no longer spoken, except by a few old people. Even the word Palaic is Imperial. We are people who have forgotten who we are. The Empire has a genius for destruction. The destruction of languages, traditions, gods. It takes our fortresses, slaughters our men, and turns our children into its own children. Nothing can bring the Palaic people back. They are now Imperial. 
But it is an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory, that the state which destroyed our shrines and fortresses should last and thrive. Oh, empty. I have vowed that this empire Sucks shall to be defeated, dude. this civil war if I can do anything to stop it. And believe me, if I had that banner, there is very much something I could do. You can't have it, it's mine. I mean, um, um, I do want to see the empire destroyed, yes. By destroyed, I mean replaced with me. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. Oh. When you have recovered all pieces... But you have info on one piece, which is right over there. All right, let's go do that. Let's take some uh, warrior boys with us. The highborn warrior boys. All right, we'll take the Fians off the list and the guns guards off the list. They definitely want us to take the best of the best, but we'll take our heavily armored friends and the rest in highborn warriors. We get to take 10 in total in. This will do the job though. So yeah. I'm glad everybody's joining us for this uh, afternoon surprise. Yeah, I'll do sword and board for this one. Unless we get close enough to actually fight. Hey! Shoot over here! It's me! Haha! -ha. Nope! At me, you dimwit! At me, I said! Uh. <clears throat> Now you can follow me, guys. I did that thing again. Where I forgot to get the team to join us. If we get close enough to knock him out, he, he doesn't have his, uh, his archer gear on him, so I can't even switch. We'll grab the banner. Work our way towards... Uh... Ah, seriously, dudes. Better aim would be nice. Thank you. My brothers. Thank you. Hey, Lemon's heal. Uh, Lemon the healer skilled up. Ooh, sucks to have your face. This dude on the right here is arrow, arrows just landing all over by his feet and he's ignoring them. Gosh, any better athletics? Apparently we're super scout, stealthy, but well, this guy is entirely deaf. <laughs> what the heck, dudes? Wake up! Wakey, wakey! One more target. Can you guys get him? You think you can kill him? Or do I have to go out him too? <clears throat> Oh, I saw that face shot. That was good. That's a good hit. Somebody got points for that one. Oh, you fool. You only have three friends with you. I have nine friends with me. I have no interest in dueling you. Nope. When I can just do that. Nice. Seven kills on our side. Nice. 3.6 influence. Thank you very much. 22 of the Highborns are ready to train up. Excellent. Exactly what I was hoping for. Ah, Kushig. Kushig. How do you say their name properly? Ching. Uh, oh. Some youths that need training, huh? Hmm. All right. Well, they'll have to catch up. Uh, leaving prisoners? No, we're not leaving prisoners. We're leaving troops behind, dude. And yes, I know, but they're peasants. They don't have much as far as skill factor for us. 22, 30, 20, 22 boots aren't going to be... Oh, yeah, those are better. Oh, they even look good for it. Done. Well done, lass. 
Uh, the balanced arrow versus what's in here. 1120. Uh, one zero. Yeah, they're the same. Nineteenth day of autumn in 1086. You found the second piece of the dragon banner of Calradius, a floaty fish. The flippy floppy fish thing. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we'll go in here and we'll offload some junk. Um, I need to go look for more mounts and things, but I kind of want to see what's going to happen with these battles here. That is an active fight in the fort right now. What's the defendant defense like? Oh, it's almost in, uh, almost over. They only had like 20 defenders left. There we go. Well done, guys. You actually did something. I mean, we did help a lot. Doing this. Oh, hello. This is... Man, could you guys come and fight this? There's 357 defenders. 65 of the new of them already wounded, plus 357 defenders. And there's only 523 here. Come on, this way. No, don't run off there. Oh, yeah, do run off there. Yeah, run away. Don't do it. Don't do the dumb thing. Don't do the dumb thing where you get caught. He's going to siege that castle down immediately again. That's fine. If we can get in here in time, maybe we'll help. No, apparently not. Apparently you're all just going to leave. Okay. And you're going to let him finish taking Seonin. And then once he does that, his 290 dudes are going to return to help fight back against the others. Well, I don't know if I can get in on the defense here without it being a field battle. I would be fighting those guys in a field battle. If I could get behind the walls, I'd be happy with that. But it's not going to happen. Although, maybe it is now. Jeepers. He has 300 units wounded now. There's, there's almost parity for defenders versus attackers here. Look at all the siege gear. He's got full siege equipment up. Man, I wish there was a way to break this. They might get to the point where we can take him out. Come on. Come on, friends. Forest people. Don't 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 initiate. Don't initiate that, dudes. They are gonna initiate it, aren't they? Yep. Okay. We'll do the thing again where we wait. Okay, Caledog the Britannian grants Remtoil Castle to Ardweir. Sure. Look at look at them. This is the forest people. I think we have to help the forest people. We have to help the forest people. Just must be done. Oh my goodness, the defenders do get to fight in this. Oh, I didn't know that. On my orders. Oh my gosh. Okay. Soldiers, on my plan. My crew, with me, please. At 110 yards out. Uh, okay. Uh, Soldiers. Our archers back here, please. Move out. Warriors, Fourth and third, do you think? Third, me. actually, follow me. No, oh, his other guy got in front and. Missed. Swing and a miss. Hear me! Follow your sergeant! Spell! Sergeant! You are on command! Oh, come on! Surgeon horse, guys, I tell you. Stay away from my right, my horse, my archers, you jerks! Where is he? Where'd he go? I saw an enemy in there. Nope. Sorry, brother. Some damage. Nice. All right. Warrior below your sergeants. Clean them up. Run! 
Oh, the thunderous battle. That's actually just the thunder, but it's also the battle. Oh my goodness, that weapon does basically nothing in this. Excellent. These Sturgeon Heavy Deer Snakes are just epic. They're really fantastically epic units. Look how heavily armored those dudes are. That giant shield. Come on, get to him before he reaches the edge. No, he's so fast. Look at him. Heavily mounted unit. Tree. Oh, I thought that tree was going to stop him. There's no way I can catch him. You can, apparently. Dang, man. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. He took the big hit from the double-handed axe and still survived it. Wow. <laughs> That's a serious the armor, dude. Two more. Indeed. 12 influence off that, 10 renown, nice. And we lost uh, zero of our own units. See, tactics. <laughs> By tactics, I mean, let everybody else do the dying and then we'll do the fighting. <laughs> One more noble sun leveled, okay. Ah, another Imperial Cataphract ready. Oh wait. That's the first of the Imperial Cataphracts. So we have 27 tier 6 knights from multiple different factions, plus another, you know, 15 more to come. Wow. Impressive. Ah, and a Ferris ready to train up. Good. Um, no to the looters. That's 67 of the prisoners. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. A Severin Pony. Hmm. Seonan is saved by the forest people. We definitely... The Elif Troy are, are uh, definitely got some favor points for me there. Uh, do we have the manpower to take on four new units or three new units? We do. I like these uh, gallant sword girls. They're crossbow-wielding, heavy-shielded, not great armor, but heavy-shielded crossbow wielders. The Lady Warriors of Doom. All right, I'll take on more of those sell off the animals that we don't need here. Um, I'm gonna butcher the hogs, though. For, for the foods. Again, I don't think anything from that battle would have been epic, and I'm gonna risk not worrying about it. There's the second piece of the banner there. Once we put it together, we'll get ourselves a fancy banner for ourselves. Um, Carpenter needs raw materials. Interesting. This battle is going to be a bigger one than we want to see to be involved in, I think. Yeah, there's 300 defenders there and 650 of the front line attacking them. 95 recruits, 69 are archers, 63 are infantry. So he's got almost, he's got over 200 that are tier 1 and 2 units. So, I mean, he wouldn't be an invincible force to take on, but not by ourselves. Caledog's party already at 165. Dude knows how to recruit, that's for sure. Oh, Gallant Sisters again. Actually, I think that put us over, didn't it? It did. Oh. Um. Well. I guess, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to release the, uh, the one noble son. Because he's going to have a hard time leveling. He'll only get level if he personally does a kill. So. All right, uh, back here for a second. Butcher those hogs. Done, and then let's look at what else we can do. Hey, two-hander skill is up. Uh, we did the best medicine vote. Did I actually change it, or did I not give her? Oh, I didn't give her the, the point. Okay, best medicine it is. There you go. So she's got a 15% healing while party is morale is over 70. 
So as long as our morale stays up, we keep leveling, uh, we keep healing faster. Uh, she also has the, her athletic skill up. I'm jealous. I want to be that athletic. Mind you, she's literally always running around. She's on foot all the time. 40% uh, charge damage taken. Less 40% less charge damage taken. Pretty good as an ar archer. Um, 30% more damage bonus from speed while on foot, which she's an archer, so she doesn't get a lot of that. Uh, and she's the captain of the archer, so we'll definitely do the charge damage taken. That'll make the the entire uh, line of Fians, champions, and archer whatevers to be much more um, resilient to the cavalry chargers, which are their biggest weakness. All right, so the next one is the two-handed one uh, one hundred skill uh, the the perk. That's the word, beast slayer or shield breaker. Um, personal and captain, personal and captain. So, as the Beast Slayer, we get 50% damage to mounts with two-handed weapons. And, uh, 10% damage to mounts by troops in your formation. Or, and we're running, uh, either the rain, the, um, Horse Archers captain, or we're captaining a, um, a mount group. So we will not be on foot for this, uh, to get this captain bonus. Uh, 40% damage to shields with two-handed weapon, or 40, 10% uh, damage against shields with, I think we go Beast Slayer here, but I'm going to put this one up to vote for you guys as well. My vote would be on Beast Slayer, but because taking out a heavily armored Dursnix horse is going to knock him down on foot and be useful. The horse archers do a lot of damage to the horses, uh, and it is a legit way to take down the enemy, although it might be cruel to the animals. Beast Slayer and Shield Breaker. And that is for our two hand 100 skill. So, again, Beast Slayer to damage the horses with two handed weapons, and our troops do the same damage, do 10% more damage, or ranged units, uh, or shields rather, against shields or against. Um, yeah, I mean, the shield damage is actually probably, you know what, uh, come to think of it, I'd probably go with shield breaker, because uh, think of the scenario where those infantry lines are heavily guarded behind their shield wall, the archers in our horse archer crew, if we're leading that, will rain in more damage on those, so that's my, my two cents worth there. All right, we have to talk to Istania who is over in Epicratia. So let's head generally in that direction. Uh, oh, hello. It looks like we have another battle coming. Oh, hello. Yeah, we do. And we also have this guy we can smack around. Um, no. Um, maybe, maybe not. Both of them at once? Sure. Let's get them to split, and we'll take the bigger guy on the right. And we'll come back That's to the other guy. enough now. Oh, no, it ain't close enough, friend. You have uh, 78 troops, 23 uh, tier 1 archers. Oh, the Hastati. Oh, this is the Legion of the Betrayed. These are like an old Imperial Roman style armor. Uh, good, because I didn't listen to your first choice. <laughs> Uh, I like the idea of the taking out enemy horses when they have heavy knights that are really hard to keep up, catch up with, and so on. It's a tactically huge advantage. However, more often we have we stand up against, and later game we'll be standing more often against heavily armored lines of infantry, which will be much more troubling than a few uh, enemy uh, heavy heavy enemy lords. The, so the Principe and the Hestati are heavy um, infantry. So this is one of those moments where we should have that thing already decided. All right. Ranged units, give us a spread and go hill edge to crest here. Good. Uh, the horse archers can come uh, on this side. And a nice little... Wedge on those guys, huh? Okay, and over here. Get moving. Oh, I start right at the back of the group. All right. Oh, on me. All right. He's got some heavy infantry at 300 yards. Hear me. Move infantry out. over this way now, please. 
Nope, that's not right. Soldiers! That is infantry. There you are. Get moving! Troops! Force archers even Move. further back, please. Ah. We're going to wheel to the right because they are. See what's up top this ridge. Yeah, it looks like they're going to have to do the whole Warriors. choosing both sides and be able to... Forward. Yeah, we're going to go this way. We're going to get the infantry down there. Move, somebody uh, somebody take care of this jerk face, will you? Move out! Riders, hear me! Attack! Thank you. Devil take to me! That was very easy, and did, they did exactly what All I told them to. So 230 yards. Horse! Get moving! You guys stay down there for a minute. Soldiers! Forward! Infantry up to the water's edge. If he's pulling back further, we can definitely uh, bring the... Troops! Follow me! Riders with us. I should make sure my position is is uh, switched up to leading the horse archers as a captain. So we get that bonus. Soldiers! Onward! They're on the other side of that ridge. Hear me! Keep your toes dry, boys. Move! Bounce! Onwards! Warrior after me! Follow me. We're gonna go ahead and flank them. We might as well use the range like this, because... Wow, that didn't work at all. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Pony, I was trying to hit the guy on your back who's leading you helplessly into his, your doom. Thank you. Thank you. Fourth, you're gonna stand up this ridge. Get moving! Move out! What I don't want to do is charge in those Hastati. They have uh, Keelum and uh, Pokey sticks and stuff. Yeah. Now they're using that angle to guard from the one side. What if we get them to guard from the. have to guard from both sides? Can we do that? Soldiers! Forward! Yep, we can totally do that. Troops! Move! Gun him down, boys. Look at them drop. coming, buddy. Well done on the sneakiness factor. The Roman, the Roman Legion has fallen, brothers. Fallen. <laughs> they did not. They did not survive that charge very well. Uh, you're free to go. Uh, Hastati. So yeah, see, this is them here. This is their the Hastati. They got the pilum and the kite shield and a short sword. That's the triarii. Oh, the Hastati are the lower level ones. Oh, I didn't remember that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not actually that great. 
I thought they were better than they were. The legend was wrong. Actually, I'm gonna leave those groups to level on their own. You know what? Uh, no. We'll let the horse archers level up as they go. More damage is better. 66 of 80. Uh, standard of courage. Decrease morale shock by 30%. Okay. Um, she's got decrease range accuracy penalty. Um, decrease morale shock by 10. Well, let's make it a 20. Not bad. All right. So we definitely have shield breaker in the known. And not enough people voting. Tsk, tsk, tsk. That's okay. I still like to put it out there. All right, now this group over here, I'd like to initiate combat with, if possible. Yes, we caught them before they can get into the fight. That is Griffor's 719-man army. We could warn them they're coming, but... Uh, or we could just stay safe. <laughs> right, so who might you be then? <laughs> that just sounded perfect. Uh, the guy who's going to knock you off your smug little horse. That was that was great. He, I almost wanted to just let him go because of that attitude. Joyce, that was great. Soldier! All right. Right, so who might you be then? Just Mr. Nonchalant. Uh, we are uh, leading the riders, so we're going to stop leading the riders. Our brother has um, bow skill, but I don't think he has any... I don't think he has a bow. But I'll captain the horse archers then. Okay. Horse foam spread out! Stay riders! Hear me in wedge! Alright, they're 180 yards out, huh? Hear me! Get moving! Troops! Move out! Horse foam in! Horse foam over here, please. Off with me! Soldiers! Onwards! Horse archers! Move! We could ride through those guys, but... I just want to taunt them a little. They are so not going to bring any of their dudes to, for, to battle with us. Not at all. Bounce! Get moving! Oh, now you're now you're here, huh? Me. Nope, now you're not on me. Okay. Cavalry! Move! Warriors! Onward! Let's all move up, boys. Horse archers! Stick to me! I do not much like when they stand, uh, move out forward like that, please. Standard there for me. Thank you.
that out, boys. Grab the charge again. Oh, up the cliff. This is hard to climb. Those horse archers, I tell you. They're easy to get dead when they get too close. All right, we're overstocked on the prisoners here, so we'll dump, dump the 15 looters and a few other things. A few other... There we go. There we go. Something like that. We're a 1921 armor piece. Excellent. Oh, now she's got a fancy cape. Very good. All right. Oops, it didn't work. There we go. You lose your fuzzies, but that's much better for you. A lowland. Um. Yeah. In case I ever use them. We'll lock it in again. All right. Good haul there, and good levels, and good monies. Running 35 influence, we're getting 2,200. So we're spending, they're paying us out for eight influence at a time with this much stocked. Um, we have a quest to go to Epicrotia, but probably not something we want to do right now. Ah, hello. Hello, Sturgeon. Surgeon jerk face. Hey, coward. Oh, I see. Oh, bugger me. Little dirt, dirt bag got away. Hiding in the fortress, are ye? Caravan, no thank you. Leason's army. Uh, I, I highly suggest you don't chase that it just seems like a dumb choice bud so I shouldn't be dancing too close to it otherwise I'll help lure them giving the impression that I'm coming for a fight a courier with a marriage offer de Maroc Elise would join Bumbleberg. Notice how that's different than when the Empress was asking. A merciful calculating lass. Who's got good charm, good trade, good stewardship, a bit of medicine, but not much else. She can ride. Hmm. I think we need a stronger leader than a stronger member than that. Those are kind of uh, locked in once you click the button sort of thing, so otherwise I'd let you guys choose those two those uh, decisions. But uh, it would, we'd just have to sit there for the whole vote time. Because we can't, uh, once we click the button. We couldn't do anything about it. Alright. Offload some stuff. And some more stuff. Mm. Not great prices. And I always sell the hide because I just get the hide from doing various different uh, butcherings. I'm expecting a little bit of uh, action to turn up over here, but. Oh, look at you. That siege may actually be breakthrough. No, uh, yeah, 56 defenders. You better attack if you're going to, dude. No, they won't break it. Hey, look on escape from army. Darn it. He ran off to the enemy. 
clan. Took Rim Toil back. Oh, hello. What do you got here? Clay at 26. Good gracious. That's a good price to sell it at, not buy it at. Now we could we could attack this guy straight up ourselves, and because it's us, the other group won't the army won't get into the fight. They won't be close enough to fight. Stop. Oh, I'm wrong. They were close enough. Who are you? I am the guy who's gonna smush you with somebody else's troops. That's who I am. Alright, archers, give us a nice, juicy line up there. Spread formation, please. You go in the wedge, you go in the spread, and we'll start out. I am... what? Face into the rock, huh? Oh, good... Ah, oh, whoa! That's unfortunate. They all, the only thing they have is 88 infantry. Really? That's brutal, dudes. Alright. Do the thing. Do the thing where you ride and do the stuff. there. Right into the, right, right into the tree, watching everything else. survive to become prisoners. Ouch. That sucks, dudes. <laughs> That's harsh. Eighty prisoners. Okay. I'll leave those guys to level up. Yeah, we'll let them. Those guys will level up, and then they'll join that. That'll help them level up. Sure. Like that. Nom nom. Well. Rimto's switched hands a couple times. Not much else is happening in this war. We're getting lots out of this war, though. Get in, destroy some baddies, get out, make some money. It's a winning formula, for sure. Oh, he's sieging it again. Oh, hello. Blah, 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 bam. I'm taking command. Everyone on my flank. All right, my team on the flank here. We should have a fairly large contingent of our own units here. Yeah, not a ton, but some. I don't know how it divvies them up. And how it decides who gets to have their troops in. 40 riders over there. 
That's a lot. That's a lot of enemy riders. He's gonna go squabble with the pennies of them. Wait, are you with me? You're not with me. Everyone! Follow me! Alright. Gotta remember to re-up that frequently when there we get issues with uh, reinforcements in these big battles. We can forget. I can easily forget that my troops are not. Um, that we don't have all our troops with us. Looks like the riders are going after the front line of the enemy. Archer! We're gonna put our archers on in her command. And we are going to go after the infantry. Ooh. Didn't expect to get a hit in there, so that was nice. there for that kill, but missed it. Ooh, somebody else took your head off. Not me. coming in here that's what's happening I'm sitting in the oops in the batch of the reinforcements oh no that's what happened we're in the point where they there's reinforcements are spawning that was dangerous I ooh the block buddy I felt that one. Like, personally felt that one. Oh. Thought I had him there. Cowards. Aha! No way I'm catching that guy if he doesn't want me to. Oh, looks like he wants to. Oh, yeah! That felt good. Like, I actually got a good hit there. Nice. 7.3 influence, 3.6 renown. Not bad. Save the game every so often. SMRT, you're a smart cookie. Or quirky. Uh, you may go. You may go. Nice. Ones that we actually captured. Uh, prison numbers are, prisoner numbers are pretty darn high here. So let's see. These take only the high tier guys and then we'll swap out what we can. Uh, the veteran outriders actually are worth keeping. Those aren't. Those aren't. 83, you say? 
Uh, standard of Courage again. Nice. If we go over here, we have the uh, these standards. These are the battle standards. We'll keep those. Standard of Courage is quite a nice one, eh? Nice. Very nice. He doesn't have one. Let's go ahead and put that on there with him. Decrease Morale Shock by 10. Decrease Morale Shock by 20. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Over our supply limit, really. That's okay. Yet another great victory. Saving the Empire. They totally had that, but you know, they would have done it themselves, but it's still worth it. Speaking of saving the Empire, so there is an autosave. If we go to load, there is, uh, I do have autosave on. Unless they go to load in it, yeah, see there, autosave one, two, and three. But it keeps it up pretty good. All right. Bushwhackers I'm not going to recruit because they require a specific skill to get them to a proper level. Uh, there's Outrider Veterans here, wasn't there? Um, Heavy Horsemen, no. Galant Sword Sisters, we'll keep those around. Druzhniks, we'll keep them around. The Heroic Line Breakers are pretty cool, too. They're the, uh, no-shield ones. They're like the Falksmen. They don't generally do Falksmen. There's the Veteran Riders. Okay, good. Done, and then we'll ransom off the ones we don't need. And there's our 18 potential recruits. We can hold three more units. None of them are ready to join us yet. Look at what the upgrades are. Um, Ishig or goods? Sure. Looks great. Yeah, these youths are having a heck of a time getting leveled up. Um, okay. Let's do it anyways. We'll just do that. If there's two youths that aren't leveled up, it's not a big deal. We'd rather have the highest level units we can. $83,000 in hand will be good for a while with that. So I'm going to take a two-minute uh, pause, and we're going to be going about another hour. So, um, uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Uh, let's get ourselves a tournament fight here. Heavy Warlord Pauldrons, really? Those are pretty nice looking. 1014. They look impressive. Don't know if they're any better, but. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah! lie ball. Wow. You got the first hit. Well done, sir. 
we have again a oh it's an axe battle this time with an oath sworn so these guys are decent with their axes yeah see look at that wrong way dude wrong way dude I'm, I'm that's better there we go force myself to use some blocking skills huh practice <laughs> again oh against the fian mm -hmm. they're just getting harder and harder Supposedly. I guess I have to up my grade. Oh, Monsieur! Monsieur! I don't know how you're supposed to. Munzer. Look at his speed! Oh! No! He blocked. He crashed through that one! Hmm! It did get harder and harder to the point where that guy beat me in that tournament. Well done, this year. All right, we got our riding uh, 175 available here. Breeder party leader chance to gain animals uh, in your party. That's interesting. Or herd speed penalty. I don't really ever run a herding speed penalty. Not very often. Because we've got so many mounted units. Um... I think we'll go for the uh, chance to get ponies every day. Maybe we get a new horse. All right. So other than that, let's maybe focus on upgrading our... Wouldn't mind athletics, actually. Let's start getting some athletics training done. That was unexpected. No kidding. He really blocked Pat fast. Some of those lords, like, let's, let's look him up. Munsir. That's this guy. Two-handed skill. 243. <laughs> yeah. Athletics, 167. He's way, way more skilled numbers-wise than I am. So, even with the player versus AI, he gets... They're tough. Well, we're still in this war. We're going to just keep fighting because we can't even go do that other quest until the... Uh, the Empire stops getting beat down over here. What's your numbers like, O Fortress? Why, why, why does it keep popping up and disappearing? There we go. Oh, there's only 117 defenders there, eh? Wouldn't mind getting in a siege battle when he's ready. Although I don't want to commit to it until they're ready. There's the lines, the defense lines put up. Watching down there, see what they do. There's the siege. Let's go ahead and get in on that. And I'm totally leaving my boys behind. We will join the siege and I'll take all of my troops and tell them to run and hide. Because they're just going to get themselves blown to bits. Command is yours! Troops, move! Go back there. The rest of us will do the fighting. Oh, I didn't bring a bow. Well, that sucks. And for some reason, I cannot ever move properly in these battles. Look. I can't get him moving. There we go. Now it's moving. Maybe it's the terrain that they were walking. He's walking on. Look at him. He can barely move. It's like riding a mount doesn't work here. And you'll only ever walk his mount sometimes in these siege battles. I don't know what they did to change that. But it's dumb, and I don't have any bow. I don't have a bow or anything. Well, that's what the heck are my dudes doing right up there already? Warriors! That is weird. Okay, I can't get off my horse either. It won't let me. There we go. Mm, siege battles—they're frustratingly annoying. Up you go, boys. Come on. It's gonna get me dead if I go up first, but... I don't even have a ranged weapon of any sort. Can I poke at them? 
Can't poke you from here? <laughs> Can't reach. Okay, my turn. All right, okay, you go first. Then I'll go. There's a dude on your left about to shoot you in the back of the head, man. Nope, don't swing. Go at the dudes that's gonna shoot you. That one. Yes, much better. Hi. Hi. Nobody up here. I think I think we won that part. This is just a tiny little siege left. Now we did say we want to get some athletics training. But there's still somebody standing. There's an Imperial Archer still standing. Oh no. Oh there we go. They got him. Sometimes they'll get stuck inside like a gate or something, where they're between two gates, and the enemy will, or the allies will have no interest in taking down the gate, which is really bloody confusing. You're welcome. Glad to help. A deer bane flag. Increase melee damage against mounted troops. Deer bane. I see it. Melee damage against mounted troops. I mean. Yes, but I've got taken range damage reduced by 10%. Melee damage against mounted troops. No, that's much better. That gives our... Oh, melee damage against mounted troops. Hmm. As the captain of the... Of the horse archers. Oh yeah, we don't get to do with the... The battle to the, for the keep. There we go. Rimto has returned once again. All right, let's head off this way. See what we can do about messing around with some sturgeons. Didn't she already have an army? She just like disbanded it and did it again, or what? Two hundred ninety-nine defenders. Certainly not something we can mess with. One hundred and forty dudes. That's not enough. Uh, villager needs draft animals. New. No, thank you. But you could uh, give me some more... Nah. We'll go for probably... What are we going to go for? Horse archers maybe next? I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, yo, yo. Um, 237 of you. Let's see if you bring... He's going he's gonna to jump into a castle, isn't he? Of course he is. Howard! Oh, hi! Oh, oh, hi! Or lured bait. Maybe that's the better term for you than coward. Bait's probably a good one. Yeah, you're chasing my army, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You're chasing my army because you think your friends are going to join, and they probably are. If I keep running, you'll get out of range of your friends very soon. Grants room toil to Li Chan. Hmm. Hi. You guys can try to interact there? You are. But not there. Oh, I see. I see how it is. They're not actually attacking that castle yet. Oh, I want to fight you. I want to fight you, Serenon. Wait. Wait, what? Did we just peace out? Weren't you an enemy? Did you just switch sides? I feel like he just switched. Up. Now he's enemy again. What? That's close enough. Who are you? What? Was he switching sides? He's like mid negotiations. He was hiding. He was actually running around with a uh, with a Western Empire flag in his, on his in his pocket to convince me not to attack him. Cheeky little bugger. Under my orders. Hear me. All right, archers in here. Oh, 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 that's everybody. Did that thing again. Um, three. Boop, boop. Over here, please. Boom. Fourth in a loose formation here, please. Second in a loose formation here, please. There we go. Only have a couple infantry and I don't run an infantry group. Everyone! 
Warriors! Move Up out! There, please. Forward! Mounted archers! Move! 120 yards out. The archers are going to take absolute mess of them. Forward! Horse archers! Move out! Cavalry! Onwards! All right, get him, boys. Follow me! Shoot him down. Okay, you can start shooting now. Please shoot them. <laughs> I'm expecting him to have already fired. Ah, there we go. Now we hear the now we hear the damage coming in. Hey, you gained some tactics ability. I don't know why we gain tactics while we're doing things like that, but I guess the more you use commands, the more tactics you gain, maybe. I can hear the arrows just a railing into them. Okay, one recruit down. Usually what happens is a couple guys get dead and then they start shifting to kind of counter the the change in direction. Horse archers! Horse archers. Sergeant, you are out in command. sergeant command. Bell, follow your sergeants! Troops! Follow your sergeants! Come on. Lead me into your troops, huh? I see how it is. Want them to be the, the father for you. This dude is just hellbound on defeating me here. You, dude! Die! There we go. I had to just tell him he's supposed to die. He didn't know. Look at that damage from that shield. hit our own horse because I would have had like a horse every battle with how many times I decapitated my horse visually. You got him boys? Or are you gonna make me come back for him? There we go. Somebody over there still squabbling. There we go. Who do we lose? A Vlandian knight. That's disappointing. Ah, the embers re released. Prisoner released. You owe me one. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that does. I should say. Ooh, ooh, a fiend, free of charge. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't know what else I would bring. Uh, I really don't care to bring any of these guys. But I, no, can I? Can I actually take these guys and then like donate some of them to a to a lordly one? Ooh, look at my fancy upgrade! I look even nastier. Um, such a mean fellow. Uh, reduce the cut, increase pierce, increase thrusting speed, St same length and a bit better handling. Nah. Standard of duty, decrease shock. Oh, that's good. There we go. Hey, you. You're so just going to taunt me, aren't you? Olek. Olek. I am coming for you, Olek. Yours is not a face I know. Hello, you may leave. Aha! Oh. All of you, huh? 
Oops. Ah. Hit the wrong button. 48 cavalry. Thank you. I wanted to separate. Oh, no. Svana. Hello, Svana. Get her! Get her! Yours is not a face I know. It isn't, what but is I will uh, like to know you more because you have amazing skills. She's of the Gudarving. Oh, that's Ragavad's clan. Interesting. We couldn't, uh, we might as well imprison her, but we could also boost relations with the hope that she'd make a good partner. But for now, we fight. Listen up. Apparently, you're supposed to be good at, uh, uh, healthy contentions with your partner. I've heard that's a good idea. So be good at debating and arguing with your partner in a way that's uh, amicable. That's important, I've, to I've been told. So, you know, the, here, that's what I'm doing here. If you, you're thinking otherwise, oh, no, clearly we're not doing this for sheer uh, wanton destruction. Soldiers! Move! Horses! Move out! Horse bowmen! Move! Move up, everyone. There's battle to be had. Hmm. Warriors! Get moving! Raiders, hear me! Forward! Horse bowmen! Onwards! Shoot him, please. Lots of shots and things. That's better. <laughs> that was for money and fame. Well, that too. Money and fame and potentially improving relations for uh, future romantic interest. This is how this is how I date these days. I mean, it is 2024, so, you know. I've heard that dating is a little more, a little different than it used to be, so. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my gosh, this weapon is just subpar. Alright, average do you think, okay? Oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed another one. These Druzhnek champions, those are the ones I want as my, my, my knights in the future. Where is she? Oh, she's down. Nice. Victory after victory. So, Svana. You make a great. Oh, Svana's now pregnant. Um, nope. Um, nope. That didn't work. Uh, wait. Are you actually married? Apparently, Mimir. Oh, okay. Mimir is one of the ones that starts not married. So you're free to go. Actually, should have imprisoned her. Although it said she was pregnant, I don't feel like that's a very good idea. Let's find Olak. Oh, come on, Olak. Hey, hey, hey. Courier with uh, Finn Uvain. Similar sort of a, a clan, but she is Batanian, but no, 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 no. You are dishonorable and close-fisted and not particularly skilled. There we go. See, can we chase you down now? Oh, look. I don't know if I can catch you now. 
We gotta kind of pin him in here. This is the guy with a ton of knights. Oh, you jerk face! He's gonna get away. <gasps> oh, lame sauce, dude. You're not gonna get away. Stop there. Who are you? Idrin. It's better we know each other's names, even if we fight. Idrin, what is your situation? Father, brother, brother your your father is Olak. I was just I was just chatting with him. But slowing down, he was going a bit too fast. Uh, she's good at merchant, steward, charm, riding. Oh, okay. Governor, perhaps. But for now, it is to battle. What do you have for troops? Uh, 37 recruits and 27 warriors. That pretty much sums up this battle. Uh, where's the enemy? Go! 250 yards out is where the enemy is. Move! Soldiers! Move out! Horse archers! Get moving! Troop! You guys are gonna do this. Move! Mount you guys are gonna do this. Forward! Horse archers! Onward! Oh, that's Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? Switching gears so often he actually ducked me. Dude, you're, you're not going to make it through that. That was just brilliant. My god. Ah. <laughs> he certainly got the stealth factor going. No, he's still alive. And then one of my horse missed. Thank you. That was just atrocious. Oh my goodness. Horsemen, everyone, all your sergeants. That's it. Take him out, boys. Come on. One of them left. Oh, it was Idrin herself was up there. Sorry, Idrin. At least you weren't killed in battle. Idrin, you are free to go. Boost relations. Love it. Cheeky, but awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and train up the Fians to Fian champions. They're ridiculous now. They've gone to stupid level of strength. Uh, I'll leave the others. Uh, it doesn't matter. You go up with your friends. You also go up here. Apparently we lost one or something at some point. 59 of 82. 82 of 82. Convenient. Um, We don't have any room for more prisoners. So for more members. So. A large round shield. It's in the name. It's big and it's round. Uh, all of it, not just what we can carry without slowing down. Thank you. Samir. Oh, hi. No, 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 none of that. Change your minds. You can't chase me. That's mean. Uh, Bellathor. Hmm. 44 recruits, huh? Bellathor. Go ahead and hit that caravan. Yep. Chase it. Hey, oi, oi. I expected he would chase him further, but no. 
Man, there's just bad, there's just enemies to hit everywhere, but it's gonna get me in trouble if I don't do this right. Mm, nope. Oh, no. we got him. Okay, good. Any further, and I was literally just reaching to click for for a uh, switch of plans. Forty archers and infantry. Yeah, those are. That's gonna be a a gun down. Just gonna gun them down. Hear me. Spread there. Soldiers. And Move. here. Mount, spread horses. Quarry up those soldier arms like bounce. You guys over here. Uh hundred and something yards out, huh? Troop! Get moving. Over here, horse here, bowmen. and horse bowmen are gonna be horse bowmen. Here to here. Onwards. Come on. This actually did some damage. Get moving! Raise your command is yours! No, no, no. Devil spread the field! Form a wedge! Raiders, hear me! Move out! Just let the archers do the thing, Mount. okay? Why are you riding there, dudes? I specifically told you not to do that. What the heck? Cranking that influence in renown, boys. Good. Prisoner count is probably fine. We'll take. That's fine. Just leave them as is. The rest of them can go. A phalanx standard decrease range attack damage. Uh, not as good. We'll take it. And it will lock it. Lock the banners for now. Caravan. Let's see what's going on with this shenanigans over here. Hmm. Where are you guys headed? You're just gonna let them take this castle? Is that the plan? 151 defenders. Don't do it, dude. I know there was other groups around here. Like this guy. Galadog of Jane grants a castle. Well, that's lovely. Wasn't that quaint. You get a castle. You get a castle. All y'all get a castle. Oh, again, you better speed. What's our speed to reduced by Samir? Son of Ragnvad. The forest people of Batania. What? Oh, the forest people have switched sides now. Oh, so close. No, oh, he's better in the open. There's his daddy. Run into daddy for help, huh? I see how it is. 
Daddy doesn't have any better troops than you do, buddy. All right, last guy did this same thing where he danced around us and got back to the castle. Oh! Uh, hmm. Uh, how does that play? They're running because they're on separate teams, but they're gonna have friends, so now they're gonna run to me. Oh, you jerks. <laughs> Can I catch him? I was expecting them to get me there. Oh, 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 whoa. Too much danger. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Don't do it. Nope. Stay away. He's really, really confident, isn't he? That's because of those 46 sturgeon horse riders, or raiders. Sheepers. So, your horse raiders are pretty potent, aren't they? Um, what is the... What is it to bring this... Yeah, there we go. Horse raiders. Yeah, I mean, they're not... They're not, uh... They're javelin warriors on horseback. But they're decently armored. I don't know. We'll see. I'd love to get a piece of Samir, but he's gonna run and hide. For sure. What the? He didn't run and hide. You would definitely run and hide and be an easy kill. This is dangerous. This is so dangerous. I want to defeat you, but if I do, I might find that that or that army can interact, can engage. Not while we're fighting, but... Alright. You guys up here. Horse archers over here. No, oh, that didn't work, apparently. Forward! And you guys over here. Alright, let's see what he's got. He's got 110 units, all infantry. Seriously? Yeah. Didn't realize he was in that bad of a shape. Soldiers! Move! Horse archers! Onwards! Horse bowmen! Move out! Similar battleground we had last time. In fact, it's almost identical battleground. It is pretty much identical battleground. Hear me! You guys are gonna range there. Onward, you guys are gonna range there. Move! Cavalry! Have in the backfield. Get moving! All right. You guys are Horse gonna be here. Men. Onwards! Hear me! Move! Bounce! Forward! We're gonna have to get shot from basically both Horse angles. Right? Move out! Horsemen! Horse archers! Get moving! Look at them. Riders, hear me! Soldiers! On move! 
<laughs> oh, the fiends firing in when their when their backs are turned. Do you see that? <laughs> That's beautiful. Shield was epic. Apparently, I can't bash shields very good. Huzzah! Look what I did! <laughs> I did nothing! I didn't even get a kill. Got one tactic spike. 16 and a half influence, though. 7.4 renown. That's the way to do it. Uh, Vidar. Vidar, you are of the Gunvarvarvarva clan, so you're a prisoner. Never gonna help. He's not gonna be friendly with me at all. Uh, no, hold on. That was not the right thing to do with the prisoners. Uh, you do have one of those. One of those. Let me get rid of um, you. You. And uh, you. There we go. Well, look at that. Fancier boots. Slightly better boots. Uh, Oak and shield. Um, not the dwarven one. Uh, decrease taken shield damage. So that would be like an infantryman's, uh, if we have an infantry, uh, group, that would be a good choice. To take, uh, shield wall group. Oops, I didn't take the loot. Oh well. Didn't, doesn't warn you when you're... Samir! Uh, the Golden Boar Company is signed up. He's just a little bit faster. Maybe not. Come on. Peace to you, stranger. Mm, no, 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 no pieces. No pieces of peace, friend. Wait, what? Oh. What did I just say? Did, did a piece just happen? Oh, he just peaced out. Indeed, peace to you, stranger. I just, I was like, what? I just clicked through, assuming it was going to initiate a battle, but no. Well, well, well. And Caladog is having, heading off to Epicrati, yeah? Is he? I did see a... Right, look at this. What the heck? The Tannians making grounds. I wonder who helped with that. Awesome. Uh, we do have uh, over oh, 63,000 bucks in hand right now. That's good. Extortion by deserters? Peace sure. Deserter. I'll help my local friends. Wait here for the uh, tiny group of deserters to come. <laughs> 28 of them. Oh boy. Hi. Under my budget, you are on command. Everybody, do your thing. I'm going to go park in the middle of them and try to bash a few heads. Not likely to get a chance. See if I can take the back road. Maybe I can get in first. That was awesome. Deserter bashing. What you do after the main course of the battle. Sorry, that was terrible. Now. Don't hit my horse. Don't. Oh, you hit my horse. Just about chased my horse away, ally. Once your horse takes damage from anyone, they run off. So one of our guys poked him. Uh, well, I guess we'll take one more prisoner. You, uh, let's just do it this way. Lovely.
Nice. Super Warriors. Now 2217 bucks to field this army. We have an obscenely expensive army. Like, if we had... We couldn't even last, like, half a year without money from the, uh... From the mercenary jobs. <laughs> That's how much... Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got some... We got some troopage here. Yikes. Steward of 175 ability, Gourmet, or Sound Reserves. 10% troop upgrade cost reduction. And as a quartermaster, food consumption during sieges reduced. Or, as quartermaster, double the morale bonus for having diverse food in your party. Yes, please. Here we go. And we definitely want to make sure that we have food in our party. We have lots of grain, though. There's not a lot of variety of other things. Uh, hardwood for eight. Yes, please. Well, these guys over here, they're, they're, well, they've got issues too. Let's deal with one of their issues. These are, naturally. Um, extortion by these deserters on your side too. Well, that's convenient. That's hilarious. We'll wait for the next. They've, they've been like really making uh, work in the zone here. Bringing command. peace by force. Troop, follow your sergeants. Right. The order there is actually just get out of my way because I'd like to fight. Man, this horse is awesome. got to kill or two to get some XP. Wonderful. Overburdened. Came to buy your wares, but apparently uh, we'll fix other problems too. I'll take that and that. I don't need more grain uh, or hogs or sheep. Actually, let's check if we've got meats. Wait. We have meat, yes. Yeah. Why is it listing it by type? By name? By type? Are you? What is it normally listed as? That's weird. Um, we do have some food. What's our food variety? Three from food variety and three from gourmet. Okay. Uh, let's buy the hogs then. Uh, and the sheep. Go ahead and uh, slaughter those animals. Get the cows. Good. Head back up to town. Apparently, working with these battalions has been like the most profitable thing ever. 185 and Stuart. Nice. Uh, quest wise, um, oh, we got to talk back to that person. Hold on. I'm gonna go back down there. Actually, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go finish our trip to Sion and sell off some gut stuff and then go back through there. We'll probably find battles in that direction, more likely. Uh, let's go. Go, go, and go. Wow, we're getting quite a variety of horses. Because we haven't been training up any horses lately, so. Uh, green fish butter. Olives! We don't have olives. Let's get some olives. Eight fruit. Play for 11. Sure. Overextended? Okay. Probably get some more horses since we've long since sold off all the ones we had. Oh, there we go. Good chunk of workhorses here. That'll do. Alright, now back down to a village that I 
you've got to deal with. You have a mighty fine army of almost the size of my army. We're wielding 144 units now. That is really awesome. Keep it. Keep it, people. Alright, so uh, the king is off this way, isn't he? Yes, with his friends. Let's see if we can find some shenanigans to happen over there. Oh, the Maclevet Castle. You can have them. They're all yours. Is Caledog going to siege the city? No. Really? No, he's not. Brotherhood group that's running away. More brotherhoods. Can we get both of you at once? Stop there. Yes, we can. Good. Who are you? Um, it is better we know each other's names, even if we... No, we'll fight. Don't worry. I don't care what your name. You're of this group. Don't care. I'm in command. Warriors! Move out! Uh, oh, it's one of these, one of these va valley battles. I haven't seen these in a long time. Ah! Right, excuse me, pardon me. Troops! Uh, infantry are going to be up here. Forward! Mount! Those fear me! Horse bowmen! Soldiers! Those for horse bowmen! Arms legs apart! There we go. Horse archers! Onwards! Horse archers! Let's actually go here with the horse, horse archers. Bowmen. Get moving! Move out! Horses! Move! Archers took them down before I could. Cavalry! Forward! Move out! Hear me! Warriors! Get moving! All right. Oi, watch where you're shooting those things. There they are. Ow. Listen, listen, dudes. I did not authorize you shooting me in the face. Move out! Archer duels. Ow! Hook my horse. Don't do that. Oh, that's a lot of arrows flying. <laughs> horse Avalier, your sergeant! Right off, brothers. Riders, hear me! Command is yours! <laughs> I think it's good blocky. Mostly the blocks coming from my allies. He's just hiding behind the horses of my allies. It hits them first before it gets to his shield, and what that through gets. <laughs> These guys are just freaking pinballs, but they're surviving because longer because of it. Uh, 
Amusing. Entertaining battles. Hey, I did lose somebody. A sword sister. Was taking an arrow. Ooh, two of them boosted. Lovely. Um, no. I know the sword sisters, but just got one, just lost one. Okay, we'll take all three of them. Yes, we can. Uh, prisoners, please. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, can I sort them by... No, I can't. I wish I could, like, sort prisoners. It'd be really nice if you could, like, sort them by rank. That'd be awesome. Just by tier. That'd be very helpful. Uh, six more I need to get rid of. There we go. Like that. Okay. Grab the loot. Where are we at? Another another 14, 15 minutes somewhere in there. We'll go today. A sturgeon or a Kajate lady. Oh crap! I did not mean to do that. I clicked the wrong button. Autosave. <laughs> no, annulment, annulment. <laughs> Which one is it? Annul that wedding. <laughs> Oops. I went to hit the <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, back here, huh? Well. That's too bad. Further back than I hoped, but. Howard! Fana. Oh, and there's the piece. Okay. I kind of expected it to not happen this time. <clears throat> Mantios. Yeah, go fight with Caladog. A double dog dare you. Oh, you jerks. Letting them go in and hiding. Infantry, more infantry. I'm gonna guess you guys are probably not gonna want to fight together with me. Oh, hi, that's a lot of you. Change of plans. We can catch Mantius. What's his troop count? Oh yeah, that'll be a fun one. I mean, easy big kill. It's been a while. It has indeed. Time to battle. Well, cranking up the renown. I haven't actually looked recently, so we should do that next. And you guys go in here. Riders over here. Horse archers over here. Everyone! Hear me! Forward! Soldiers! Move out! Hear me! Move! Horsemen! Onward! Horse bowmen! Move there. out! Horse bowmen! You guys go here to here. Get a nice Get moving. fire across the water option. The archers here to here. Forward! Horse! Move! Charge! Horses! Forward! Riders! Stay close! Stay 
What the heck did I just run into? The water? What? What? The water's a solid wall there. What? What? I've never seen that before. Move out! Water's not supposed to be a solid wall there. FYI. This is a safe way place to run right here, yep. Oh, this river is most definitively too deep for our troops. Alright. This is how we do this one. Stop, stop, swing, 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 damn it! swing my sword <laughs> 16 and a half influence just pounding away at them free to go free to go my tears or leave low tears go away Excellent. Let's see what's happened over here. The uh, apparently two armies there and one up here. They're running from the party. Gotcha. That's close enough. Who are you? Germana, who are you? You're of the Vas... Vatatsis clan. Sure. Uh, war with us, part of the Empire, got it. And family connections. Uh, Serenon, okay. Time to fight. Serenon's lady. I'm in command! Yeah, it definitely looks a lot deeper, that water. There you go. Yeah. Is this the same water? I think so. It is. Okay. Which means you guys are going to do this. Move out. Hear me. Forward. Horsemen. Move. You're going up in the field. Never mind then. Mounts! Onward! Horse bowmen! Forward! Soldiers! Move out! Get moving! Move! This time we fight from the other side. Troops! Get moving! Horse archers! Forward! Cavalry! Move out! Well, look at them climb the mountain. Trying to get a better view or what, buddy? There's like just about no chance of us shooting through this. Look at this. Big giant pine forest here. Apparently they think they can try it though. Warriors! Onwards! Horse bowmen! Move! Horses! Move out! Dude, that's a tree. Oh, you made it. What the heck? This map has some work to be done on it. I just keep hitting in things that are... I don't think I've ever seen... Oops. 
Sorry, Horsey. These dudes are like way up in the mountains. Yeah, you. What is going on with you guys? Horse! Riders, hear me! No? Get moving! Everybody goes taking my kills. Just kidding. <laughs> Dropping lords and ladies alike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not worth the fuss. We'll upgrade our dudes later. Need to get me those morale boosts. That was a lot of dudes he just walked out the door with. It's a lot of dudes walking out the door with a lot of dudes. If you please. I do. What? Oh, clicked the wrong button there. There we go. Fight. I make commands. Ah, it's a valley fight. I love these ones. If the if you're on the right. Side. <laughs> Troops! Forward! 300 yards away, yeah. Mounted onward! Hear me! Move! Everyone! Get moving! Soldiers! From there to there. Move out! Horse bowmen! Forward! Mount! Wedge position! Horsemen! Get moving! Right there in the valley. Get up! Wow. Gotcha. Those shields are doing too good. Hello. influence grinding on those for sure yeah they're not even they're not even fielding any particularly good units which is 
just dooming them entirely. And they're so scattered after so many fights. But battles like that could be worth doing. <laughs> Fortunately, yeah, he's going to run away. Oh, yes, catch him. No, darn you fool. Foul beasts. <laughs> yeah. Didn't work out well for you, did it? We can definitely play games with the, uh, the, like, control zones, you know? That's an army, strangely enough. How about you chase this way, army? You're supposedly chasing me. Gathering, are you? Gathering an army, are you? I'm it's chasing me. an army by myself. Nice. That's going to cause problems because probably about six or seven other groups were on their way up the valley to join this guy, which probably was a poor choice. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get one more battle in here today. Next time we'll probably have uh, be on our way towards kingdom ranks. All right, second, I want you here. Move, horse archers! Onward, horse! Forward! Wow! Well done, archers. Just riddle them down. Gains a level. Maybe off my hit, probably. Right on me. He actually had to block that one with his shield. The other th first three hits were blocked by my own dudes. Lucky little bugger. I mean, not really, because he's in a war and absolutely hopeless for battle. Look at this person's horse! Lantanor. Down again. Antonor, what family are you in? Okay. We'll boost relations there, no problem. You had at least one decent troop. Yo. Excellent. All right. So, let's do a recap of where we're at here. Um, and find out what, uh, what kind of results we've had from all of this. Uh, steward 185. Uh, wait, what? Oh, right. Reload. That messed that up. Okay. I'm going to put another point here into um, intelligence for that. And we're going to put another focus point into where? Um, mm, 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 athletics, I think. I want to get that up for sure. And uh, quest-wise, we have to go talk to Istiana, but she's in Epicratia. So currently in war, we will not be able to. Uh, let's look at our uh, prisoner options. Go ahead and recruit, uh, level up everybody. Looks like a nice collection of them. I know there's a level up everyone button. But that's that's okay to do it this way. Ah, an Imperial Cataphract, and I have room for two more. So one Cataphract, and that's it. The other one's not worth taking. Excellent. We'll do that. We'll head up towards Seonan to... Oh, hi. Yeah, there was friends coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Ooh, move faster. Ooh, okay. He's going to form that army up. That's okay. 
So over at 97 is not terrible. I'll actually take your other butter and stuff, butter and cheese. Head back around to hometown. We'll log off in Batanian land since we've been doing questing for them. We might do those uh, two quests, start off things next time. We'll head up to Seonan and sell off our loot. But thanks everybody for joining us for another stream. Next time we will be pursuing uh, Kaladag Batanians gave the castle to Adbara. Next time, we'll continue the pursuit of uh, Grand Kingdom status. We got to get the... Uh, mostly just get the... Uh... Why do we have so much capacity here? Jeepers. What are we holding hundreds of? Grain and fish, apparently. A terrible price for fish. Care about those right now. Offload a bit there. Yes, this is terrible pricing for it, but $46,000. Oh, trader doesn't have enough money. Wait, what did we just try to sell that was that much? Uh, stack bodkin arrows I'm actually going to keep, thank you. That and that sounds keepable. Hold on. Uh, a lot of freaking loot. Jeepers. And weapons? Um, hmm, that is a bit better. It's the same range, though. I'm going to hold on to that one now. He's only got 37,000. That brings us down to him down to 15,000. And armor. Um, is there a better helm here? Is this a better helm for one of you? There it is. Excellent. We determined the rest is not, eh? Okay, well. Wow. Uh, nope. Okay, we'll lock that in. That change in. Let's see what... What is in here that is so freaking valuable? Just a lot of stuff that's medium value? There's a lot of stuff. Wow. Wow. It's like we it's like we've been hauling out a lot of defeats here or defeating a lot of units here. Jeepers. Can I hold on to it? Give it all to the no. Can't give it all to the friends. I just threw something away. Dang it. That and that goes. Thousand left. There you go. Wow, we got some uh, got some stuff to sell off. We'll go to Maranath so we sell it at the right place in the beginning of the next episode. Well, thanks everybody for joining us for another stream. Been a lot of fun. Uh, the clan condition right now is clan tier 3. We have 496. Not bad, considering we started lower than clan tier 2. So we started at 350. Just below 350, 330 something. So we've gained over 150 renown from these battles. Not bad. Not too bad. There's a long, long grind indeed. We got another... Oh goodness, we got another 404 to go. Yikes. That'll be a thing. Goodness, we got to get some uh, passive renown gain going here for sure. Otherwise, it's going to take me forever. James, have a great rest of your day as well. There we go. Some some loot dealt with. Silver sells for better. Offload the cows. Don't need that when you got a better one. Hardwood that we bought for like seven or eight. Why is it wasn't showing? I'm not sure. We're gonna offload a bit of the grains. There we go. Something, something like that. Thanks, everyone. Have yourselves a great rest of the day. Cheers. See you in game.